Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy-ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. Um, before we get into the chaos of tonight's game, uh, we have some announcements to get through. Uh, first, beginning with our fantastic sponsor of Campaign Two, up to this point and going forward for hopefully infinity, uh, D and D Beyond. Sam, if you want to take it away, I will indeed. <clears throat> Uh, guys, D&D Beyond will be streaming tomorrow, June 15th, live from Origins Game Fair. Uh-oh. I've, I've forgotten something in my car. Laura, take it over. Uh, no, what is he doing to me? <laughs> from Origins Game Fair! Check out twitch.tv slash D&D Beyond, and not and, starting at 12 p.m. Eastern time to catch interviews. I'm killing it, babe. The oh, monthly D&D oh. &D Beyond. <laughs> What? <laughs> Buenas noches! <laughs> I am the masked vigilante named Storo. I fight injustice and defend the innocent in order to send them to the D&D Beyond Storo. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah, no. The, yeah, yes. No. <laughs> Mine is a dangerous cause, filled with scary monsters, vile beasts, devilish devils. All of them can be found in the various monster manuals at the D&D Beyond Storo. <laughs> Aha! What is this? It is a generic tablet device <laughs> displaying a handsome array of content and inventory to streamline your tabletop gameplay. Strong. Why, this can only be the infamous handiwork of D&D &D Beyond. <laughs> <laughs> With my blade, I cut down on prep time. I slice my physical book collection in half. I slay the enemies of book management, for I am <laughs> click, 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 Storo, and I will never stop fighting until our D&D &D Beyond contract expires, <laughs> and then I will stop fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Who wow. was that masked man? <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, guys, what? Did you find what you needed in your car? Yeah, I, I, you know what? It was right here. It was this thing. Oh. Check out the <laughs> twitch.tv slash DD Beyond starting at 12 p.m. Eastern Time to catch interviews, the monthly DD Beyond dev update, QA, and a live play session with exclusive, exclusive reveals from Dwarven Forge's upcoming KS5. Whoa. Six. I don't it's know what that is. It's a Kickstarter. There's six to Kickstarter. Oh, okay, cool. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> TLDR. Commercial all this time. I didn't yeah. plan any commercial today. It, wow. it was just. Wow. There was a guy that. Uh, you know what? It's not important. Yeah. yeah. Great job. Sam. <laughs> Great well done, job, buddy. Sam. All right. Feels like the longest <laughs> walk. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You know the thing when you find a mask at home and you're like, I, I can do a bit with this. <laughs> that's the. That's the whole oh. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sam, no, and thank you, Dandy Beyond. Um, Storo lives on in our hearts. No. Hopefully, no. only in our hearts. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully, only in our hearts. Um, all right. So, uh, a few other updates. One, we have the uh, the standard editions of Vox Machina Origins yeah. uh, are still available at King and Sundry in the Alpha Line shops. The, the special editions are gone. Um, but you can find details at CritRoll.com. Uh, let's see. Tox Machina is our after show. Uh, every Tuesday, and this episode's episode will be next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Pacific time. We're a number of members of our cast. We'll be talking with our fantastic Cabbage Master, Ryan W. Foster, <laughs> to discuss the events of tonight's evening uh, episode. So, uh, <laughs> so they have giveaway prizes for GIF and Fan Art of the Week. Make sure that you submit them uh, <laughs> to submit at talksmachina.com. Currently, only US and Canada, excluding Quebec, are eligible to enter and win because of dumb rules. Um, also, a reminder that Twitch Prime allows you, if you have your Amazon Prime account, to attach with your Twitch account to subscribe to a channel for free on Twitch once a month. So, if you can, do so. It's free. Uh, and that is it, and that's all. Short announcements tonight. Wait, and wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's right. more. Wait. I have a wait. thing. This wait. is not an announcement. Wait. wait. Um, uh, uh, one of the artists in our community, Jason DeBitt, who's been with us since the very, very beginning, uh, old school critter, and has made great art that he's, he's made art on his son's sandwich bags for years, and he's made a lot of Critical Role art, too. Uh, he contacted me uh, a couple of weeks ago and said, something's coming, be on the lookout for it. He gave me a vague idea of what it was, and it didn't prepare me for what I'm about to show you guys. This is just another example, it's cabbage, mm. another example of how unbelievable uh, the people in our audience are. So, Jason uh, had an idea in 2016 uh, to take a sketchbook, 
and mail it around to other artists in the community. No. No. Uh, this book and this box, because it's covered in notes, I'll let you guys look later. Oh, but no. this book oh, has is. been traveling the planet since 2016. Oh, what? what? Instantly started crying, like, <laughs> this book. Um, the rules, when you finish with this book, email Jason, yada yada, if you use the medium that bleeds, nah, nah, nah. decorate it, send it on to the next person. It's just been traveling. Whoa. The very first one, I'll, I'll oh, just find some. Cat Winslet God, has done God. art for ages. Wow. I, 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 I can't, I mean, I, I, just, I oh, just can't. Oh, yeah, Sarah. yeah uh, 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 Mick Andy, oh, Amira, yeah. Um, yeah. just a couple, Lloyd, Lloyd. I, I'm not gonna do everyone justice, and I'm gonna take pictures of this Every single picture in here, I mean, I, 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 oh. I, I yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, oh. <laughs> I, I was, I opened this up for the first time like an hour before the show and was just, you know, you know, openly weeping like Liam O'Brien is wont to do. <laughs> um, uh, 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 Charlotte, um, there's one more I want to find that I just really like. Well, you guys, will look at that one's really good too. I'll, t I'll take pictures of all of them, but this, I can't tell you how much this meant to me and obviously to all of them seeing it for the first time. Thank you. We have the best audience on planet Earth, bar none. Just legitimately thank you. Really, really thank you. Yeah. I'm looking at the wrong camera. I'm looking incredible. at the wrong camera. Oh. Amazing. It doesn't matter. You're that's incredible. Oh. Wow. Oh. So we'll pass it around. Everyone will yeah. see it. The yeah. audience will all see oh, it. There thank will, you. There will be tears at oh break. My God. <laughs> okay, we better serve oh, the game. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Oh my god. Wow. Um okay. <laughs> Short block. Okay. Uh, <laughs> do it. No, we're good. All right. <clears throat> and on that note, let's bring us in to tonight's episode ah. of Critical Role. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. So, last we left off, the Mighty Nine had been traversing northward towards the Labenda Swamp to make good on the first of two uh, jobs they had accepted from the gentleman back in Zadash. Upon traveling northward, you made a uh, young feathered friend by the name of Kiri, who has been under your uh, protection since. Uh, you briefly met uh, uh, Kali, who is a, a, a dragon-blooded sorcerer who joined you for a length of the journey. You managed to discover where the, the seemingly cut off and abandoned safe house was. Beneath it, discovered what seemed to have been responsible for it going silent by what seemed to be an underground uh, tunnel network run by Marrow, Swamp Marrow. You engaged with them, found a strange altar room where they had kind of amassed everything they had stolen from the safe house, slaughtered the uh, present uh, shallow priest and his protectors, took what was necessary and what was of interest from that pile including an interesting orb, um, made your way back out, closed the pathway the Marrow had to the safe house, thus establishing its true safety once more and completing the job of which you were tasked. There you spent an evening resting and began heading back out to return from the northern center of the Labenda Swamp towards the town of Barrel Ben and to where the next leg of your journey takes you. So, Mighty Nine. As you begin heading southward into the, the daytime of the thick, heavy swamp, what would you like to do? 
No. I, for, I forget, are we returning back to report in between missions, or are we doing a twofer? Well, I can send a message to the gentleman so we don't have to go back. How can you do that? He's terribly far away. Well, I keep wanting to use this spell that I have, but I haven't been able to do it yet. What, what spell is that? It's called sending. <laughs> Sending. Yeah, I can it's send a message. Yes, well. Yeah, a literal, uh, literal description. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess I would cover it then. But it's one of my most powerful spells, you guys, so if we're going to fight somebody, I don't know if it's smart. Do you send, like, an actual message, or is it like a piece of paper? It's like a piece of paper of the mind. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Kind of lost me a little. Yeah. Do you want me to do it? I, oh, should we get out of the swamp first? Yeah, what, what or are scaries around? What time is it about in the in the sky parts? If I recall, you guys had uh, taken a long rest after your previous yeah. battle, yeah. so now it's mid morning, I'd say. Oh yeah, maybe. Hey, Jester, maybe not just yet. Maybe before we go to sleep. At the end of the day. Yeah. Well, I like so many good things. We can do it back when we get to the hotel. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Do we yes. want to go find that troll guy? I did. Oh. To get that hundred gold back? I did almost die, which was pretty awesome. Yeah, and remember, he kind of like bleeds damaging liquids. So we stay far away this time. Do we have any more boom boom sticks? I think we have one. We have one, one left, left, yes. Just we can just go blow up his go house. Blow up his house. <laughs> yeah. Gold survived. That seems petty. Explosions. <laughs> yeah, or something that we would totally do. He killed, <laughs> he, he almost killed me and definitely killed our guide. Yeah, we should blow up his house. Yeah. <laughs> I'm down for that. that sounds fun. Two you, votes. you remember how to get there? Three. Three oh, votes. So Four, five votes. <laughs> I defer to the group. Just, you know, <laughs> that, are you abstaining? No, I. You, uh, okay, yeah. let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I do not have a, a, a cat in this hunt, but whatever you want to do, I will. I so so apparently, right and long for the ride. Throw it in and yeah. and see how it goes. See how it goes, and then we can run if he's. Sure. We can how also, do we know if he's yeah. in there, though? Well, you can sneak up, take a look. Dog. He's got frumpkin. Rob it. <laughs> And then throw a stick of dynamite in, just because if we're if we're going to be those people. <laughs> well, yeah. What happens if he's actually there? Wait, wait, what people. do you mean by those people? I like, mean, do you know a lot of people who throw dynamite in houses? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, feel, I, feel, I feel like that's pretty obvious at this point. <laughs> I feel like I knew that about you. Just, I, just, I just like having a game plan. Sure. sure. Maybe we have not just bolt in, right? Everybody else stands back, because you're super fast, right? Yeah, I guess. Very dexterous. <laughs> sure. Yeah, then you run in, you toss that sucker, and if he pops out, we just light it up from afar. Pew, pew. This is in no way going to go terrible. So I'm going to be idea. carrying a, a, an explosive <laughs> device <laughs> into a troll's house. No, you just solo. throw it in the door. Right. You don't have to walk in. What if we? What if it's not? I'm just just to play troll's advocate here. What if it's not his house? I know that's the thing, right? What if we're just blowing up an innocent troll's house? Well, then we should rob it first. <clears throat> we'll send Frumpkin in first. <laughs> also, there'll be there'll there'll be a. a <laughs> there'll be a, a body curing if it is his house. We'll know because there'll be a body curing and getting nice okay. and nice and ripe. We also sure. had no uh, qualms about sending a yeah, highly like, decorated uh, Richter to the guillotine. So I don't know why we are getting tied up over a troll. I fear that as well. Mm-hmm. Well, he definitely has a hundred gold on him. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Seems like a lot of work for hundred gold. So girl. much more. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Check it out. It's on the way back anyway. It is on the That's way. True. We'll give you the dynamite, and if anything seems like it goes wrong, you can just immediately signal Caleb, and he'll bring in the, we'll bring the cavalry in. Okay. Caleb, you got that photographic memory. You remember where those damn daggers are in the trees? Uh, for the, for the, I remember the way. This way. What is your marching order, if I could ask? Oh, oh boy. Mm. I'm right behind whoever's in the lead. <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, who's in the lead, guys? Ford. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'll go behind Caleb. Okay, Yasha's behind Caleb. I'll go behind Yasha. All right. I'll Molly. go next to Molly. Next to Molly is Jester. I'll take up the rear. All right, not 30 feet to the right. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, and Kiri will stay with Jester. Yeah. Yeah. She can ride on my shoulders again. And Frumpkin. Oh, Frumpkin is scoffing it on my shoulders. All right. <laughs> Got it. <clears throat> All right, so Ford, does that mean you're leading through? Oh. Who is who is responsible for navigating 
Oh, I'm just like a couple of steps behind Ford, saying that way once right. in a while. Go ahead and make a uh, survival check, please. Okay. Navigation. I'm glad that you. Okay. Survival. I'm survival. Just to see. That's not bad. That's a fifteen. A fifteen. Oh, yeah. All right. That's very, good. very good. All right. So. <laughs> you get a gold star. You do. Very good. So you find your you you follow the pearl the uh, uh, the pearl handled daggers along the tree line until eventually you break southward to the uh, northern side of the Unterlock. You continue to follow it south westward would be from your current position, curving around uh, the outside of the lake. Eventually, you guys make your way back to the tree line where you were before. Um, at one point, there is a faint shift in the greenery, looks like a vine, maybe of move, and you, recognizing kind of the placement of it, managed to stop Ford from stepping into it. Um, as you pull him back, you guys watch as there is now a cluster of vines at the base of one of these trees, and what looks like thorns on them almost appear to be jagged and in rows. You is go, it a trap? Or is it organic? You don't know? I, I, I'm sorry, DM. Could you say that again? Because I was busy rubbing it in to Travis that Caleb is stronger than Ford. <laughs> vines. Vines. You, you, you saw. saw you saw. You saw a patch of vines that were tangled at the base of one of these trees yeah. that you managed to stop Ford yeah, for right. stepping okay. into the area. Okay. Okay. Do we recognize what? these? These, are these vines. What kind of what, what kind of plant? This Make is? a nature check. Oh, let's see how this goes. Can I do a scan and look no. around? No, it could be a trap. Come look and see if it's a trap. Okay, I'm coming. Can I do a scan and see if I see anybody responsible for making the vines move? Make a perception check. Wow. Yeah, man, it's pretty bad. Eight. Nope, ten. Ooh. Still getting used to my stats. Uh, ten. <laughs> uh, you don't see anybody responsible for that. Um, I will visually inspect it for traps. All right, make an investigation Good check. Good minds. Good. Nope. <laughs> wow. I want the numbers, though. Uh, eight. Eight, all right. Uh, does not appear to be trapped. There are no other cables or lines. You don't see any signs of anything else, either holding any tautness to it. They seem slack. Can I follow the vines along and see where they're coming from? Uh, as you look at them, they're, they're just kind of centered there at the base. They either might be coming out from under the tree or just kind of part of a plant network right there. I've got a weird idea. Let's walk around them. Uh, I'm going to back up, everybody back up a bit. I'm going to take a little bit of my jerky. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wrap it around a ball bearing. Just kind of make a little little baseball out of it. Yeah. I'm going to chuck it right in the middle of the box. What? No! Oh. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's we good up. jerky. Do it. <laughs> all so much as soon as you hear Bo's words, it's, it's good jerky, you watch as the vine suddenly <laughs> wrap around where it was and begin to kind of uh, coalesce and twist around it. You watch as they tighten and tear and just kind of hold there. I love camping. <laughs> <laughs> then they begin to slowly shift in your direction. Oh, no. The vines kind of. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Let's run, let's run. Go around. Go around. Yeah, it. Go We're around. Go. Okay, because you, it's not very quick. You watch as this poor cluster of jagged vines, different than, than the man trap you encountered before, oh. Oh. Um, but just kind of slowly circle around and. Eventually, give up after you guys very, very easily make your decision. Little bits of like out. moldy pastries at it, because I feel sorry for it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it throws it back. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't seem to have much interest in them, well, unfortunately. Well, it's still really good. It'll get hungry. <laughs> yeah, maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so pressing on, yeah. you are you're heading back to Barrelbin, or are you searching for this hollow you found before? Oh, we 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 were leading. I was leading everyone back yeah. to where this. Uh, yeah. 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 All right, so go make another survival check, yeah. please. Okay, Ooh. okay, I know exactly the direction of north, and I remember where we were. That is a nine. Okay, all right. Um, no, we're gonna get lost in this swamp forever. <laughs> I have perfect memory. Yeah. We, you have perfect memory of direction in the sun, but looking for, you know which direction you're traveling, and you have. And it all looks the same. Yeah, it's 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 it's, yeah. It, you don't you don't have the ability to suddenly know where everything is that you've been. You you have a good sense of it, um, and you can guide better than most given most circumstances. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> But you also have not grown up in a swamp, and after a while, you, the pattern recognition begins to fade a bit, and you discover, after you've been circling for a bit, stumbling upon your own footfalls, oh. 
and you've lost about two hours of travel oh, in the middle no. of the swamp. Um, That's just the way I remember it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we circled around for two hours the first time, and we just didn't realize it. It's entirely possible. Um, Knowing that, you do take knowledge of the current uh, source of sunlight mm -hmm. above the canopy, and following that heading in the western direction mm -hmm. from where you were, and eventually you come across that similar sound. A <gasps> boom, 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 boom. Distant Jeez, chimes. What was that? Those were the wind chimes. Wind Those were the oh. bone chimes. Oh, no. Oh. That's scarier than wind chimes. <laughs> Um, should Aren't we be stealthy? Scary? Yeah, 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 we should be stealthy. Should I, should I cast Pass Without a Trace on us? Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Is that all of us? Yeah. yeah. Stay within 30 feet of me, okay? <laughs> I'm a nut. I don't want to Warm it up. Go in there. Take a sip. There's a troll house. Not. What? Bless you. Okay. Now you have advantage on, on what? stealth checks. Okay, okay. So you're all staying back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How far back are you staying? Should we like kind of do a circle like uh, surround the perimeter, just like, in let's case? Let's do a semicircle around where the door. Here, this will make it an easy. Oh. 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 There you go. Yeah. He's also, got a map. Oh, no. we, we, we remember what not to do, right? Which is which is. Uh, no. What? No. Don't attack him up close. Don't let him get close to us. So there. Yeah, yeah, you guys, distance is key. Here's the hollow. Ooh. The central tree there. And we're coming from the, uh, yeah. So this would be, you guys are coming this direction, so the north blink would be that direction. You guys are heading this way. On the north of the north. So, where would you guys like to be placed? Uh, semicircle right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Leave it as. I would like to be on the absolute side of uh, the semi Is this right, so rough terrain, is sure. this swampy, or is this normal ground? Uh, it's normal ground where it's green, and then rough terrain where it's water. Okay. Oh, no, that's, oh no. Sorry, Jeff. Kiri has her dagger out. Oh, it's, no, no. It's currently. Kiri, stay there. behind this tree next to me. Right there? Yeah. There? No, 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 behind the tunnel. Yeah. 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 Behind. Yeah. Yeah. Hiding in that tree. And. Uh, I feel a little exposed. Not, not so far. Oh, there you go. Oh, we're already here. Let's see. Let me give you a tour here. As, yeah. you're, as you're preparing yourself, Kiri yeah. looks over to you yeah. with a big smile, the dagger out, and goes, Kiri. I don't know if it's smart. Oh, Kiri, oh. I don't either. <laughs> oh, no. Give me the boomstick. Who has the boomstick? You do now. I have the boomstick. We all checked our pockets on the way Okay, here. be stealthy. You advantage. Warning. What am I doing? I'm going to see if this is the You're troll's place. You're going to see if the troll is inside. You're going to take everything that you can grab in there. I guess not going in. Now where is Just it? blow that thing up, man. What if the troll's not in there, though? Then you blow it up oh, anyway. Then we can go steal and stuff. And then go steal stuff and bounce. And then blow it yeah, up and Yeah, run. yeah, yeah. Ah. So find out if he's in there. All right. Wait, is Frumpkin dead? What's Not to be know? insensitive. You just touched his tail. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. We should go in there. Yeah, maybe we send Frumpkin first. No, but Frumpkin's not as, uh, yes, I mean, yes, that would be great. <laughs> but Frumpkin's not yeah. as stealthy you as me. If you want, I, I can go and see pass you. without a trace yeah. on all of yeah. us. Okay. I'm okay, I'm that's okay. But it's only up to 30 feet away from her. From, from oh, that's I true. I have advantage, though. Okay, yeah, go in less. there, not all do right. it. I'm going to run up stealthily. All right, roll your stealth with advantage, Not as you come up on the side. Plus ten. Mm -hmm. uh, no, oh, it's not plus, not 10, plus ten. I thought it was the. It has to be within thirty feet. Uh, it has to be within thirty feet. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Not right. Alrighty. So Caleb, you've got plus ten right now. So as quietly as you can, you turn around the corner, oh, no. walk this little swampy land bridge, dipping down to about your waist in swamp yeah. water, but in a very, very slow, steady path, begin to emerge, all finding your foot, finding the roots at the base of this large. Now hollowed tree. You turn around the corner I'm and the ring of water. Walking. That's true. You do actually. You know. So you just kind of <laughs> across it. The, the softest ninja run you've ever seen. Yes. Um, you can almost hear dance the from fairies as you go. Glancing inside, you do see currently in the process oh, no! of chewing something. You hear like a crunching sound, then oh, no. a slurping sound, and some like subtle. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Smoke that fool. <laughs> I will just stealthily back away so there's no way he can see me. Okay. To the side, and I will. Wait, can we all hold our attacks for as soon as the troll comes out of the tree? Mm. You want to hold actions when it comes to it? Yep. Yeah. Sure. <clears throat> I'll hold Eldritch Blast until he's visible. I will hold five bullets. I'll hold <clears throat> a throwing star. Essentially, <laughs> essentially, it would be a surprise round. So okay. you wouldn't have to worry about holding him necessarily. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. <clears throat> he doesn't seem to know you're there. Okay. <clears throat> uh, am, am I able to light the boom boom stick? Do you have uh, flint and steel in your equipment? I'm looking. Oh, no. We send them up there without matches. Great idea. <laughs> I have thieves' tools. <laughs> well, this is the most best glass. thing that has ever gone <laughs> to happen. I, I, have, I have thieves' tools and I have acid. Well, sneak back here and <laughs> Just Do you not have a tiger? I, I pull out, I pull out the wire and say, "What are you doing? Where are you throw it in." I don't have a match. Oh, oh. Uh, I could light it from here if you just toss it down and dive. No, oh, what? No, go back. Wait, I have. I like you throw this. in, a, throw, you throw in like a God, fireball and make it go. I'm gonna come back. Oh my God! Yeah, 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 this is back the corner. <laughs> As you guys are all waiting patiently. How's it look? It's definitely troll. I just need someone to light this for you. Or give oh, me a match no, or something. Or light I something else. Just use your feet. Don't you have like burning hands or something? Burn. Uh, it's it's hard to control. Just like light a finger on fire and just touch the. I thing. have a tinder box. Oh great! great. <laughs> 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 Weird. But is it a long wick? Yeah. yeah uh, it's long about long that long. Oh, jeez. You, gather, you gather, you gather, you make an intelligence check, actually. Run and do it. Intelligence oh, no. eight plus oh, something. Oh, that's good. Yeah, she's real smart. Not great. Uh, intelligence check, uh, 11. 11? You, you have some understanding of basic alchemy. You know uh, probably the way this is treated. It won't burn super fast. You're not sure. You could have anywhere oh, between man. 24 to oh. six seconds. This is oh. such a drunk Fourth of July moment. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Once you lit. Have, you, have, Just you have full running speed, though. Let's so. go with him. Why? Yeah, you know, you'll get your past without a trace. Just go with him. Why do you want me to die? <laughs> It'll look really cool when you're running away from it, though, and it's like exploding. Yeah. <laughs> you're right, it will. Okay, yeah. I'm going to follow 30 feet behind now. As we're going up. Okay, okay. I'm gonna cast Mage Hand to hold the dynamite. Okay, good. Okay, so Mage Hand's okay. holding the dynamite. So we get to Go ahead and light it, Yasha. I am. Wait, so where are you then? I'm. I'm near Yasha. I'm. Okay, so move over. I'm gonna get behind that tree and activate my swords. I'm gonna get within 30 feet of Knot. Both swords. Ignited. Oh dear. I'm within 30 feet of Knot. Okay, so you move over here with the Asha then? Sure, I guess. <laughs> okay. There's now this floating piece of dynamite just kind of gliding over the swamp. You hear the insects buzzing and the little, like, the various dragonflies making their way through. So you have it now floating in front of you, Yasha. Okay. I'll light it. It's going. Okay, cool. I'm going to move toward the thing and, and make Mage Hand go in front of me all the way into the hole. Okay, you get right around this corner, make another stealth check as you've now oh deleted all your rounds for a oh, bit. Oh, that's good. You uh, still have advantage. Okay, uh, 25. Okay. And you're within 30 okay. feet, right? Oh, and plus 10, because you're 35. <laughs> no idea you're there. <laughs> but there's a faint <laughs> sound. And from the inside, you see the shifting movement of the large, hulking troll beast in the inside of the hollow kind of pause for a second in the middle of the tree. <laughs> the mage hand is going in. And silence. What did you do, you? <laughs> if I could get a pair of scissors, please. What? You're going to cut your beautiful work? <laughs> yeah, you blew it apart. <laughs> Kindly. Looks like it's got roots and all sorts of beautiful yeah. things. Just like that. Just like that. Oh, oh, if I could like get it. a pair of scissors, please. <laughs> Should we start like bringing cherry bombs? Yeah. Just... Attack! 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 Okay. So first off, that was the it... coolest. Disadvantage on its dexterity saving throw fails. Uh, go ahead and roll two d six for me, please. Me? Okay. Yes. 
That's only 2d6 of damage. Oh, no. Double ones. Oh, oh, yes. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That was a, that was a bottle rocket. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. So, the concussive blast blows apart the hollow. You see pieces of shrapnel go flying in every direction. The only one who's not currently protected is you, not. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw, please. Oh, no. On my own blast? Yes. Well, not from the blast, this is from the shrapnel of the tree hollow that has now exploded outward oh, in all directions. I'm unprotected. Uh, you're far enough away where I don't think it would get to you. For stealth. <laughs> 11. 11, okay. That's, that's okay. Um, so you take half damage. Oh. <laughs> If you take so much more. You take three points oh. of, uh, of, we'll say, more bludgeoning than, damage from pieces of wood uh, uh, flying in your damage. direction. Uh, <laughs> the troll is, however, knocked prone. Hey! The okay. Uh, it's harder to hit from a distance at the moment. That is true. Oh, distance, yeah. no. Okay. Another distance. However, <laughs> <laughs> I need everyone to roll initiative. Oh. Hey. Uh, you can also hold your attack with stands up. Uh, uh, we oh, did this wow. to ourselves. Yes. Well, yeah, hey! Wow. He's, he's aware that you guys are there now. Uh, <laughs> you think? Um, so we'll say for the purposes of this, I'll give you each one action to oh. do something. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh. Hmm. Not me, I did my action. I like that the blast did knock him down. He was just so scared to death. He just uh. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Hmm. So, uh, 25 to 20. 21. 20. Ooh, on his. Ooh. Great. So, uh, sorry, Caleb was 20. 21. Oh. And not was it? 20. All right. Oh, oh! Where's that music, man? I just want to know yours first all the time. What? I just want to know what's your all. That's true, we don't have it. I'm always like, do! You hear it? There you go. All righty, uh, 20 to 15? 19. Oh, man. Oh, boy. 15 to 10. 14. There you go, come 12. on. 12. Yeah! Hey, 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 move on up. <laughs> <laughs> Ten to five. Seven. What you got, Ford? Ford got a four. <laughs> a fjord. By God. A fjord, a fjord, a fjord, fjord by Ford. <clears throat> fjord, fjord, fjord. So, I think it, actually, I think it's a surprise round. The troll cannot act this turn. We'll just let it go that way because he will be going up with you. Caleb on the same turn. He's on the ground, dazed yeah. and stunned. So what are you doing? Whoa, fireball goes from my hand. Boom. Uh, and that is a, uh, oh, a natural 20. Ooh. Yeah! With my Vex die, Come on now. we will use this one. And that is a uh, so three. Vex sounds like Vex Eleven. accent. 11 to double to 22. 22 points of fire damage. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> The bolts impact. You watch as the flame kind of curls across his now currently uh, black blasted chest and back area. Uh, the flames tend to actually, as you noticed previously in the previous battle, uh, has prevented his regeneration. So. Oh, Yay. oh, I didn't it actually prevents. even want to come here. Ah. Can you regenerate? You can't. Not from fire. Whitney's burned. They do normally, though. Fire! In the battles you've had and watching from the previous strike, you now notice them on the ground, the impact, and as the time progresses over the next round, the wounds are not knitting themselves back together. So that finishes your turn. You can move or? Uh, no, I'll That's stay where I am. All righty. Cool. Finishing Caleb's go. Uh, not, you're up. Oh, okay. I'll shoot my crossbow and miss uh, with a nine. All right, you have disadvantage because he's currently prone. Disadvantage? Yes. I already, I already, already missed. missed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm to see if it Still nine. <laughs> okay, good enough. All right, so as your first shot misses. Oh, I get another one? Let you guys do a full surprise round because technically he's, he's dazed. Oh, that's no good. Um, 13? 13? Uh, does not hit. Oh, no! Oh, no. Okay. It manages to ricochet off of the outer parts of its hide, even though it's burned, it's scarred, it's still thick. Oh, you watch as the bolt just <laughs> reflects off of it. Uh, Molly, you're up, and then Bo. Um, I'm going to uh, come up from behind my 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 little uh, tree right there, just a little bit, so I can see him, and I'm going to try and enthrall him, because I don't have any really good stuff that I can do from a distance. So from a distance. From a distance. Hey. All right. So. Spell DC on that because that's charisma based. It's a ten. It's a, it's, is it charisma based? That's right. So all your racial abilities are charisma based. so because it says wisdom, I guess so. Right. So it's charisma based. That is a twelve. So it does not succeed. Yeah. It does not succeed. Yeah. No, sorry. I mean, it does succeed. No, 12, oh, meaning it. your ability does not succeed. Oh, no, no, all right. No. no. So that's your action. You still have uh, twenty-five feet of movement oh, if you want to do anything. Um, I'm <laughs> just actually just going to sort of stand out in the. Out, I'm going to like just move a couple feet out and like right there, like there, okay. and just start yelling at him. Hey, you, hey, you fucker, you. 
got we got more than that. Where we come on, bring it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Too <laughs> much caffeine. Oh, oh, Fuck. Perfect. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 and now you wanted to move oh, words. Oh, oh, that all happened in there. That all happened. Wow. All right. All right. That finishes uh, oh, Molly's turn. Oh, Bo, you're up. Good thing nobody oh, okay. in the world saw that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna move Privacy up my home. my speed pretty far because I think um, I have to be within 20 feet for these darts. Ball start. Not get disadvantage. Offense. Uh, yeah, with keeping, keeping on the green, you can get about there, and he's within 20 feet. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you not get within close range of him again. I'm not. I know. You are just inching up. I, I have throwing darts that only go 20 feet. You should I'm be a going melee the opposite fire, direction. Man. He stole you last time. You should have PTSD from this. Have you met Bo? You're right. Okay, so, oh. first. All right, you have disadvantage on the attacks because oh, he is prone. Is oh, right. Okay, first is. Um, okay, um, uh, 19. 19 hits. On the yeah. first one. Na no. oh, 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 we celebrated too soon, the natural 20 and a seven. So 14. 14 misses, unfortunately, but the first strike does hit. Just get up there and grapple him, and I'll send projectiles. That sucks. Four. Damage. Four points of damage to the troll. I'm gonna spend a key point. <laughs> as you throw it, you watch as it kind of splinters off of his body, and there's a splash of poisonous toxin. <laughs> He got a, like a rock in his face. Yep. All like right. Like a pebble. <laughs> it's like a pebble. I'm gonna a key point. use a key point to do patient defense. All right. So you go into your defensive stance, preparing for any sort of assault towards you. Yasha, you're up. Did I go my I full speed? I want to get close. Hmm? Did I go my full speed? No, you didn't. You moved. Can uh, I move back a little? If you want, yeah. Yes. Just I'm a hurry. The yeah. one more. That's good. All right. There you go. Yasha. I don't want to move close to it. So uh, may I hold my action? Till it gets. Um, this is like a surprise attack. I know though. it's like a surprise so attack. I just don't have any ranged weapons or anything, <laughs> so I can go up and hit him. Ah. Up to you. If you if if you don't move, you don't get to you don't get to move later until your next turn. So yeah. if you're gonna move, do it now, and then hold your action for whatever trigger you want. Okay, so let me just move around, oh. kind of by bow. Like over here? Yeah. Next to Bull. Okay. Next to Bull. All right, and you're holding an attack? I'm holding an attack. Okay, so you're readying an attack. <laughs> yeah. So for whenever it comes, for what? What's the trick? Comes, comes within range? Yeah. Got it, okay. That finishes Yasha's turn. Jester, you're up. That's me! I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon right above it. Right above it. Nice. <laughs> oh! And it's going to hit him! All right. Go ahead and roll for your attack. It's not at disadvantage because it's melee, right? Correct. Technically, it's at advantage because it is prone. Ooh. I imagine it's considered a melee attack, so yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> 19 plus something, so that definitely That hit. definitely hits. Go ahead and roll damage on that. Okay, that's 1d8 because I did it wrong before. 1d8. So that's 5 plus 7. All right, 12 points of damage as the lollipop whack slams down onto its body and kind of rears back. This kind of awkward, sickly looking creature being bashed by a beautiful, glistening divine yes. lollipop. It's a unique, it, unique visual. Uh, and then I'm going to use my bonus action to ring a spiritual bell and call the I mean, you use your bonus action for the spirit and using your action for the Yes, that's what that means. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got to make a wisdom save of 15. Wisdom? Or yes. constitution? Wisdom. Wisdom, all right. Uh, that is going to be a four. <laughs> yeah. So that's two d twelve. Yeah, it is. Yes. Rocket. Woo! Fourteen. Fourteen. Nice. Make it up for last week. Woo! Apparently. Woo! Alrighty, that ends Jester's go. I'm going to. Um, oh, um, go. I'm going to stay right there. Alrighty, Ford, you're up. I'll move forward ten feet, and I'm gonna, with my bonus action, cast Hex. Alrighty. On him. For strength checks. Strength checks are denied on to him with disadvantage. And I'll launch two Eldritch Blasts in his direction. Go for it, both with disadvantage. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a 10 on the first one. That's gonna miss. This is over top. And then a uh, 12, nine, 19 to hit. That does hit, go roll damage. <laughs> that's a three plus uh, seven, seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. My oh wait, wait, and a D6. Wait, what D6 it? from here, from your hex. Don't forget that. Another four. Total of ten. He's dead, right? He's, He's dead. dead. Eleven. He looks he rough. He's yeah. looking pretty rough. I think he was born looking rough. I don't know. No, I, I mean, he looks hurt. 
Uh, all right, top of the round. Caleb and the troll going at the same time. Uh, because you're going the same time with the enemy, go ahead and roll a dexterity check. Just roll a d20, add your dexterity modifier. Pretty high, I reckon. Uh, no. Uh, that is a seven. Seven, he's going before you. Of course. Gets up in his face. Mm. All right, so it's half it his so movement. so ugly. All right, 10, 15. Uh. Ha ha ha! Don't laugh Yeah, I was going to use an action to go ahead and dash forward into uh, both of you. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He has a bonus yeah. Oh, we can't action. fucking no, hit him. No, we can't attack him until you guys. You know what? Actually, you know what? No, he's not. He's going to stay there. Yeah. <laughs> and instead, he's going to go ahead and use his venom spray. Oh. <laughs> so as it, as it lumbers forward, kind of just darkened with with uh, angry blasted soot and flame scars, it humbles towards you. A strange bulbous midsection kind of wobbling as it steps through the swamp towards you. <laughs> Looks like a even more swollen Meg Mucklebones from Legend. Um, reaches up with his claw and tears a giant wound across its chest. Oh. As it does, you watch as dark green venomous liquid sprays out a 15 foot cube in front of it, hitting both of you. Oh. I need you both to make a constitution saving throw, please. It takes seven points of damage from its own claw. We had to have 100 gold, didn't we? Does my uh, patient defense do anything here? Nope. This is not about the gold for. 16? This is a reckoning. Whoa. It's just a straight roll, yeah? Yeah. 11. Okay, you just make it. The DC was 16. So, uh. <laughs> I feel like I made it. <laughs> so I made it. No. <laughs> so you just go ahead and roll the damage. Tell him there's a chance. <laughs> there's a chance. <laughs> All right. That is exactly the medium. Uh, 18 points of poison damage to you, Yasha, and you are poisoned Copy for one minute. That. Oh, no. Oh, no. You take nine points of poison damage, Bo, and you are not poisoned. Okay. <clears throat> but you can save against that, right? Uh, Every turn? Yep, can... at the end of each turn, can repeat his saving throw to try and get rid of the poison. Okay. So okay. Uh, that's going to end its turn. Next, no, Caleb. Up. Yeah, okay, so uh, I'm going to keep it simple. I will move as close as I can, probably getting close to uh, <clears throat> Molly Mock. Right there? Yeah. And uh, I will just uh, hit him with some uh, magic. Um, no. Mm, is he is he within splashing range of you all? Did you just get hit? Yeah, he was no, within with, 15 feet of us. Yeah, I'll hit him with magic missile. All right, what and level? So, uh, the basic level. Oh, yeah. no, so three missiles, 3d4 yeah. plus three. Go ahead yeah. and roll that up. Yeah, yeah. And then not, you're up next. Yeah. Three. Okay. Uh, Eight, eight, eleven total. Eleven? Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, finishing that, Caleb, you turns over or not? What you doing? I will fire fire once. Am I at disadvantage or Nope. Oh, I still missed. Eleven. <laughs> that does miss, unfortunately. Are we seeing sprays when he gets hit by these things, by the way? Is he. Is he, is he... Uh, with each magic missile and. Uh, we watch when the spray is still. Jumping off of its body in these like very proximity-based sprays of terrible toxins. So mm -hmm. yeah, it still happens. Uh, and can I scoot back behind that tree to the e west? west? Make the one attack. Uh, I'll make another one when I get over there. Okay, over here. I, and, and can I go farther around, just as far around as so I can? Yeah. And then one as more you're attack? rushing past. Okay, that one hits. Uh, 19, Nineteen plus hits. something. Uh, this is not a sneak attack, though. Correct. Right? Well, poo. Six hurts, points of damage. Six yeah. points of damage to it. Yeah. As the bolt sticks in the back, you watch as one of its kind of bulbous pustules sprays venom oh. behind it, impacting nothing in its proximity. How far does it look like the pustule spray? Uh, between five and ten feet. You're not entirely certain from your visible standpoint because you're nearly behind a tree well, yeah. with a partial cover. Um, all right, that finishes. Uh, Knott's turn. Molly, you're up, and then Bo, you're on deck. Uh, how far can I move in one? 30 feet. Uh, okay. I'm going in to head in the direction of this of this creature. I'm going to stay about. Uh, uh, actually, let's let's try something ridiculous. How much damage? You took a lot of damage from that spray, right? Nine, <clears throat> not as much as, as Yasha. All right, this will be fun. Let's uh, let's let's run up to it, see how close I can get. All right, you're gonna have to, in order to make it with your distance, you're gonna have to leap across that bit of open swamp water. 
Um, I'm going to try and leap at that at, at just north of me to see if I can get over here then by the spiritual weapon. By the spiritual weapon? If I can leap there. There you go. That'll be the rest of your movement. You won't be. You'll be right there, and that'll be the end of your movement. Um. That's fine. At least it'll hopefully give us everybody some flanking. Okay. Make an athletics check. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that's a four. So it's five, ten, fifteen. Spoosh. You trip and <laughs> fall down to your knees in the water. Uh, I'm gonna turn twenty twenty-five, and that's about as far as you can move. With that's as far as I can move. You can I'm action to dash if you want. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna hold my action in case he comes within fighting distance. Okay, yeah. you're holding and your attack. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm holding my attack. Got it. And uh, can I do anything with my bonus? Yeah, because you guys go. Uh, one after the other. Can't do anything with my bonus. Okay, is that any yeah, turn? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that ends my turn. Bo, you're up. Um, look at Yasha. Yeah. 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 All right. And I pull out a uh, my oil flask, and I just undo it, and I douse him with oil. <laughs> like power, the Christ compels you in style. <laughs> <laughs> Your first like attempt to spray it, it kind of dissipates in front of you. Throw it at him! It's not you can't throw it fifteen feet to land on his body okay, to get any effect. Yeah, no. so you're gonna have to throw the actual <laughs> Alright, go ahead and make make it roll D twenty plus your dexterity modifier. Come on. Okay. You made it down. I'm <laughs> no you're not. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's wow. fifteen feet away. Eight. Oh, no. It sees it coming towards in kinda. Of <laughs> no. Goes, past its head and you hear it somewhere in the distance. Shit. You glance past it and you can see there's a pile of skulls and bones that were previously charred from the impact uh, that currently now are doused in oil. Oh, uh, that didn't go as planned. Okay. Yeah. Try to, Sorry. Do you want to move? Hey, I'm going to step back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How much full, full movement? Mm, right. As far one, as you can, get as far as you can. Yeah, yeah a little bit more. I'm going to go behind that tree mm. there. Uh, yep, that's that's All fine. All right, that ends Bo's turn. End of Bo, Yasha, you're up. Okay, can I? I know we can't go up and slash, and that's all I can do. But can I? Yeah. You're just gonna, <laughs> you're just, you're just gonna take damage. I can't do it. I'll just take damage. I'm already low. Um, oh, we we had a full. You guys can I? Up? We, we healed up. We got a full. We got a long rest. Yeah. No, I'm just I'm already you got nervous. This. Okay. Mm. Could I take a yeah. torch? And throw it at him. <laughs> sure, I'll let you do that. Yeah. Okay. Maybe so, there's some so oil. You, maybe there's some oil. You, you who are still holding your tinderbox from lighting yeah. the dynamite earlier, go pull out of your pack, pull out a torch, like begins to burn. <laughs> Roll a d20, add your dexterity modifier. Come on, <laughs> come on. Roll better than me. Yeah, do better than yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. On fire. Save me. Oh no. Save me. Oh no. Seven. <laughs> Does it at least land where the oil is? It does. <laughs> you see behind a pile of freshly dampened, oil-covered skulls, kind of just burns like a nice little bonfire behind it. Uh, it looks at it, looks back at you about as incredulously as a troll can, kind of like. Really? Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back as far as I can. Right. I should have actually rolled the disadvantage on that, but it would have been the same. Yeah, we still would have sucked. Still would have been shit. Welcome. There is a there is a tiny burning fire. Failure. I roll for a save on the play. You do at the end of your turn. Make a Constitution saving throw. Okay. I feel like that would have been really cool in theory. It would have been. Yeah. Seventeen. Seventeen. But that you managed to shrug off the poison. Yeah, good. Good call. Which is good. All right. That ends Yasha's turn. Jester, you're up. Lame. From out of the flames oh. comes the spiritual weapon. Yes. <laughs> From behind, and it's yes. going to come up and just spank him on the butt. There you Heavy go. metal lollipop. Come on, lollipop. Yeah. Lollipop. lollipop. Ooh. 14? 14 just misses. <laughs> it strikes across its shoulder, but glances off and slams into the kind of wet, sickening swamp floor with a <laughs> sound. It actually has to pull itself out by wedging back and forth. <laughs> I pop out from behind the tree and says, I was aiming for your butt, and then I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt at level three. What? Oh, shit. All right, go ahead and roll your attack. Level. Attack. Yes. Damn it, fuck, mother bitch. No, it doesn't hit. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of threes in this game right now. Yeah. You watch is behind. Woo! Oh, no! 
It's got a mate! Yeah. The tree blasts back from the guiding bolt, slamming oh. into it. It would appear to have been already rotted at the roots, needed just that one final nudge. And the tree behind uproots itself and falls. Did you guys see how powerful that was? So powerful. Super powerful! So powerful. I'm going to run okay. away. I'm going to turn around and run the other direction. This direction? Yep. That's about as far as you can yep, get. Yep, right there. there. All right, that ends Jester's turn. Uh, Ford, you're up. I'm gonna move over here. Five, ten, fifteen. Oh, you're going closer. Yeah, and I'm gonna Crazy. I'm gonna cast a witch bolt at it. Go for it. level one. Oh, level three, <laughs> level whatever, whatever, yeah, three. whatever, whatever, yeah, whatever, what is, yeah. Three D twelve. Well, well, I got rolled a hit first. Sixteen. Sixteen does hit. Oh. That was not Okay. Fifteen or sixteen is, is the wall. Hi D twelve. I missed you. One. Man. Bummer. Uh, 18, eight, 18 points. Okay. Plus lightning, yeah, that's good, that's uh, lightning good. damage, 18 lightning. Plus a d6 because it has hex on it. Thank you for the room. Two, oh, solid right. 20 points. 20 points of damage. And we're putting this on there for witch bolts whenever, if you wanted to use your action again, you can go ahead and continue to hit it every turn yeah. for a d12 automatically. Um, all right, so now you see this as Ford steps around the corner and releases this arcing bolt of purplish black energy. This lightning arcs off and slams into the troll, and you watch as the energy kind of continues to swirl around it, cool. curling around it. Cool. It kind of tries to like stop it and grasp for it to no effect. And you can see there's like the strange thread of faintly visible energy between it and Ford right now. There's some sort of connection between the two of them. Um, all right, that ends your turn, Ford. Are you it does. What? All right. I'm in love with him. <laughs> the troll is going to go first uh, because it rolled higher than Caleb. Immediately it turns. No! Uh, no, it's real, it's real angry at him, because it just got hexed, blasted, and then bolted him. It's going to go ahead and bypass the shiny swords right there. Does it get close enough for me to take a swing? 10, it does. Ah, swing, swing. Yep, 15, 20 over there. Um, do I get, ju I just get two attacks, right? Well, you, you were holding your holding action, action, so you get two attacks. Yeah. All right. Uh, gold ones, the gold ones, actually, I'm just going to use the good sword, it doesn't matter. Um, that's awful, and that's pretty good. So that's uh, uh, 11 that misses, and uh, it's 19 that hits. That does hit. So that's 1d6 plus uh, 1d4, um, 2d6 now, that's right. Correct. So that's, uh, that's not bad, six. That's 10 points of damage. 10 points of damage to it. It did heal everything yeah. from that. So 10 points of damage. As you strike it with one blade, miss with another, uh, immediately, as you strike across it with your blade, the venom splashes oh, into your no. face. Mm -hmm. uh, you suffer 13 points of poison oh. damage. And then it moves out of your combat range. You can still take your reaction if you I want to. I take my reaction. 13 points of damage? Yep. That's fine. Um, this is what I'm good for. I'm taking it. 100 gold! 100 gold. <laughs> Natural 20. Oh, shit. All right. <laughs> New die. Um, it's a pretty it's a gold die. It is a pretty gold die. Uh, I'm gonna borrow his next one. Does does the fact that I'm using the the the, the uh, like what what effect I have? I don't it's know. not a pretty undead. It's two, it's it's two d six plus and then double whatever you roll. Yeah, so it's four d six plus plus whatever. Yeah, if you, if you wanted to do it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Ooh, that pretty much yes. is the same thing. Yes, uh, oh, that's crazy. 12, it is. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, Twenty one points of damage. Ooh. <gasps> Wow! As you carve past with a third final swing towards it, you watch as you cut through a portion of muscle and tendon on its arm there, which immediately slips dull to one side, unmoving. The spray splashes back in your face oh. for only five points of poison damage. Oh. Okay. Um, Does that hit me at all? And it's coming into you. As soon as that, the arm goes limp, the muscles reconnect and the arm oh. comes back with strength oh. angrily. Oh. We're not doing fire, fire damage. And it's going to go ahead and swing. It's going to take a bite and two claw attacks against you. Uh, he's also going to, of course, uh, curse of the eyeless. You can't you already use your reaction to attack? Oh, that was my it. reaction. Never yeah. mind. Sorry, buddy. Mm. That's all right. It's all right. All right. So for its bite attack against you, its jaws open forward. <laughs> That's going to be a cock because that was a nice. Uh, that is going to be a <laughs> twenty-six. That hits. Oh. All right. So you take ooh ten points of piercing damage. Okay. Mm. Plus. Six points of poison damage. Mm -hmm. Good deal. And you are poisoned until the start of its next turn. Happy to be as so. As the venom kind of courses through your veins, its claws, I mean, its, its, its teeth, and uh, giant tusks mm -hmm. dug into the front of your shoulder and chest. The pain is strong, but it's holding you fast. And from there, 
like a clawed wolverine that begins to just rake at your chest with its claws on each side. Uh, the first one's going to be a uh, 16 to hit. Uh, that misses. Right, because you have your shield out. So you, the shield blocks one of the claws, the other one attempts to reach behind it to get to your body. Uh, that's going to be a, a 19. That hits. All right, and so with the other claw strike. Is he grappled? Uh, no, he is not. That is nine plus four. 13 points of slashing damage. Uh, and that's I mean, uh, And another three points of poison damage. Jeez, the way some of them. Yep. That's going to end its turn. Run away! Run away! <laughs> Caleb, you're up. Oh, this thing is way closer than I was prepared for. I take a little bit of molasses and rub it on my hands and say, slow down, you boys have got this good, and I start to back away, casting slow as I go. All right. We'll loop around by our cleric. All right. He has to there? beat a uh, wisdom save against uh, 16. Wisdom save? Yeah. All right. Uh, that is a 14 minus one. 13, no. What does that do to it? Uh, it slows him, I think. Yeah. It's enough movement, you can only make a single attack on its yeah. turn. Oh. That's good. You can do an attack or a bonus, but not Look both. Look at all those. Can you do a reaction? No. No. I need you to make a two like, concentration check, by the way. Really? Uh, Unless it's going to be full with advantage. Well, actually, your hex, your hex would be gone, technically, because. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. so it's off. Yeah. Yep. Which is my fault. You should. It's my own fault. Yeah, hex, hex is gone, and make a uh, constitution saving throws to see if you're maintaining your uh, witch bolt. Uh, it's an 11, that one saves, and that's a four, yeah, they're both, they both save. All righty, get on. Oh, you know, it was actually, I'll erase that. Uh, DM, it was, I think it was four, you can add four yeah. hit points, so I think it was the last it's on text damage. It was a, a cube, but Caleb knowing that would put the troll in the corner and send the rest of it in that direction, so I it's not too much. Fellows. Okay. Wow. Can't use reactions. Correct. Oh, good. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right, Caleb, finish your turn. Uh, yeah. Not, you're up. Is it in melee with good old Ford? It is. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I mean, not for you. Yeah, sure. Uh, no. I'll, I'll run up within 30 feet. All righty, you move. Oh, no. 30, there you go. And fire. Go for it. Choo-choo! Ooh, good, it's a lot, 20-something. That hits, go to roll damage. Yes. It's hurt real bad now. <laughs> ah, good. Uh, okay, so that's... Thirteen plus four is seventeen. Seventeen points of damage. Oh. And splash forward. You take nine points of poison damage. Cool. Oh. Right into your face as the bolt kind of slashes through. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, funny. Let it stop you not, my friend. Not, not. Wait. Do let it stop me or don't? No, it's a minute. <laughs> it's old, not barely. It's right. right there, angrily making a last stand. Get it, get it. Cock again and fire again. And it's even more! <laughs> so 20, 20 something to hit. Okay, go ahead and roll damage. Mm, only six points. Six points. Still alive. Oh, oh, Ford, you take another 13 Wait, points of poison damage. Oh, I do. Oh, no. <laughs> hit it again! Oh, no. oh, I killed no. something! I killed something! <laughs> It's sitting there, like, head on the ground, just heavily breathing, like. Yeah, you'll keep taking damage. Oh, no, no. I use my relentless endurance to. You do. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. You're about to go, like. <laughs> so the orc comes to, the, the blood of the half orc kicks in, and you stand there angrily in its face. Ford ah. Madeline Khans back to life. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, that finishes Knott's turn. Nobody else. Uh, Molly, you're up. <laughs> Nobody else hit it? Lord, run! Just hit it! <laughs> I'm going to walk up, and I'm going to flank it. So right. I get advantage. Right there. So oh, you're, you're up, up to your waist in swamp water, looking up at it as you kind of push. Right. I don't know. If I'm going to take works. a hit. So that's uh, 17, 18. That's 20. 20. That hits. All right, and that's uh, uh, that's that's nine points of damage. How do you want to do? Oh, yeah. Lucky man. Yes. I just want to just get the new sword. Push, let it bend, and pop into it. Yeah. As you it as you stab through its body, it it tries to spin, and you watch as the strange kind of tensing of its abdominal muscles and this weird kind of bulbous stomach suddenly poof, burst out in front of you. For oh. it. I'm, I'm, I'm down. Yeah, you take ten points of poison damage. Oh. <laughs> that was so cool. It looked almost like Molly <laughs> killed them both. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Uh, Two burps? 
Ford and Molly. I like it. Yeah. Good one, Molly. No, all right. Dying. Ford will remember. So Ford is Ford is currently unconscious in the ground, guys. What are you doing? And he's poisoned too, isn't he? As far as you know, does it go away if it? I'll use a bonus action to give him a. I've got a bonus action. I'm going to. I'm going to give him an auto cure just in case. Okay, so go ahead. Go ahead and roll a Constitution saving throw. Um, make a make a saving throw to resist it. I I the the snake tattoo on my hand. The 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 eye on the back of my hand just bursts and and uh, blood comes pouring out of it. Bursts. Yeah. I take two points of damage. Oh, that is a twenty. Twenty. Does that oh, you amplify. Uh, I had used the. I, I didn't need the amplifier. Oh, actually, it's right. I don't have to take damage for that. Never yeah, mind. Full on stick right now. Yeah. So, so you Both watch. Watch as, as where the snake is. It kind of the blood bursts, and you watch as the green venom that's currently coursing through the wounds in Ford's unconscious body suddenly <laughs> siphons out and kind of hovers in the air for a moment as what? as Molly Mock is holding his hand, and the poison just drops to the ground what? and disseminates into the swamp. That is my face. so cool. Next <laughs> 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 I've never done that before. That's really cool. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Wait, are you Ford, awake? Ford is still unconscious. Oh, the poison's gone, happened? but he's. Oh, oh he just was I'll walk up to Ford. Okay. And I'll cast Cure Wounds at level one. Okay. I Whenever you heal down, anyone, it feels small. like a bother. I know, it's so, so begrudging. I'm tap his head and be like, wake up already. Okay. Just to be sure, I'm gonna dig around and make sure this is true death on this thing, and it's not gonna start regenerating. Or right? Does it look like it's regenerating at all, or uh, make it make a perception check? I'll start looking we for the gold. Just cut off its head. Oh, That's you fair. Beat me to it. Oh yeah. Come join me. Okay, uh, I, I join not. You guys begin to make your way over to the twelve. The skulls. Skulls. I'm faster. <laughs> I'm pretty fucking oh, fast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty damn fast. Judy, come out. <laughs> Kiri begins to run around, kind of joining over here in the swamp area. Don't, don't, poke don't it. stab the corpse this time. It's poisonous. He's poisonous. Good. Okay. <laughs> uh, you're looking down at it and watching as parts of the wounds are okay, still tethering well, together. Like, I'm going to gently. It hasn't come back to your turn yet, unfortunately. Oh. It's turns before that. You watch as it suddenly comes up from the ground, oh, pulling no. itself from the swamp, still. Please now no. conscious once more. Please no. Uh, <laughs> on. And it's going to go ahead and take another heavy swing <gasps> towards Ford. <gasps> you already With advantage, because you're prone. Did you already cure wounds? That's going to be uh, 20 to hit. Thanks, so. just <laughs> That's going to be three, uh, seven points of piercing damage. And uh, two points of poison. Peace out. Ford falls unconscious once more. Oh my God. Like, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> oh, Time no. is weird for Ford. I, uh, I feel like I should have had it. Oh well, that's fine. Well, it comes back around to the next turn. Because uh, it heals. Because as soon as it comes back, it heals ten hit points back up. <gasps> so it came to consciousness. Just enough movement to get it prone, knock Ford down. It's going to go ahead and make another swipe at Ford. Uh, can that's it do that if it even... slowed? No, it can't. Oh, is it still slowed? It's still oh, slowed, yeah. Oh my god. Oh man. Wow, oh, you just like yeah. saved That was two death four. saving throws right there. Yeah, it was. And it had a third attack. And another one. <gasps> but it doesn't anymore. But it doesn't anymore. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like walking on the edge of a cliff in the middle of the night and you didn't know how far the drop was and you're just towing the edge. Oh, no god. idea what was on the other side. All one. right, Ford is unconscious. It brings us back to Caleb. It's now your turn. Oh, is it? Oh, oh goodness. This is rushed around. It's got back up and it just <laughs> boom, Ford's on. Conscious you again. For anything that can push it back. Uh, in, uh, 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 DM, fire. yeah, DM. In everything that I've seen, when fire has been used on this creature, did it splurt? It seemed to. It seemed to splurt Any when I used fire. Any sort of damage oh. seemed to cause but it to splurt. Do fire also did bad, no, bad things to it, and it didn't Don't regenerate. It. I know, but. Yeah. We got but just Ford is it. right just under it. Just do it. Ford out of there. Wait, it, it's your, back. It was it its attack. turn, and now we're back at the round, so it's going to have another turn immediately. No, no, no. It, that was its turn. Oh, it just was, took. So now, now we're, we're going back to the initiative order. Full action. turn, so and it can't react. Because so I'll pull Ford away, and I'll. And I can move. I'll be fine. No, it won't. Because we all get a full. We all get a full turn before anything happens. So Caleb shuts out. Should I burn this thing now? Wait one second. Hold on. All right, hold on a moment. Real fast. Hold on. Just checking the slow. No! This is suddenly becoming the most complicated fight we've ever had. You just make it with some saving throw to see if it can avoid slow. Uh, no, we'll roll the three. <laughs> so, Caleb, what are you doing? Yeah, I just yelled, should I burn it? And Jester yelled, wait! Hold! Uh, I'm going to hold the glove of blasting. 
Okay, what are you doing? I'm gonna burn it uh, the moment uh, Ford is in the clear. Okay, so you're holding until Ford is clear yeah. from his body. Got it. Okay, uh, that brings us to not not. What are you doing? You oh. turn around and watch as the troll's now back up and ah. slammed its claw into Ford's now hold once until, again hold unconscious until body. Clear. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> I want to so bad. I mean, Am I within thirty feet? Away. Currently, uh, you can no very easily get within. I'll 30 get within thirty feet, feet and then That's hold you, my action to, sh to shoot. You step around the flaming pile of skulls right there <laughs> and turn to get another bolt in. And oh, You're tough. holding. I'm, I'm holding the the attack okay. until until it looks like it's safe to do so. Okay. Holding attack until it's until Ford's until safe. Ford's gone. Yeah, you got it. All right, Molly, your turn. Um, I obviously can't hit it, so you can. I mean, <sighs> you got devil. your. <laughs> I'm going to just, I suppose, get its attention. Peace out. and I'm going to misty step. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Dude. Uh, Where do you want to go? go? I can go 30, 30 feet. Thirty feet. Yep. Yep. Uh, who we'll get the shinies before not? I'm gonna head to the shinies. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you step next to next to yeah, there we are. <laughs> right behind the fire. Go back and hit it. You won't. I won't. I just need visual and just yeah. No, it's nothing I can do. So all right, that finishes Molly's turn. Bo, you're up. Are right, the two there of you, go. you gonna try and drag, or do you just, want? I know. Or do you want to try and attack, and Yasha and I can try Whoever's and drag? Whatever. Figure it out, guys. It's your turn. All right. I'm gonna run up since I know me and Yasha are together. I'm gonna cast Step of the Wind. To give okay. myself double mo uh, movement, or use a key point. 25, 30. You don't even have to to get to it. I'm trying to get to Ford. Oh, to get to Ford. Sorry. 40, 50, 55, 60. Well, I would have gone a straight way, but yeah. Yeah. Instead, it's that zigzaggy. Five, ten. Step, 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 step of the wind. Step of the wind. I have double 40, my movement. So you have, yeah, so you have, yeah, that's, that's your. Okay, and I'm going to grab onto him, and I'm going to turn to Yasha, and I'm going to say, help me, and I'm going to pull when she gets up to it. Okay, so he's been in action just to hold on to him. You currently have him grappled. I'm gonna pull when she gets up. Okay, I'm got gonna it. help her pull him out. Right. Okay. So I'm gotcha. gonna move forward, grab the other side, which of she forward? doesn't have, yeah. We're here? And pull him. All right, so you move over, action, and you're gonna pull him away. All righty, you're not in his melee range, so you managed to pull him back here. Or well, he has no reaction. Yeah. I know he doesn't. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you pull him back, forward How is far now back right there. Him? Uh, can, can I, I want to assist her though. Can we get him further if I assist? That was the whole point of me doing that. Mm. It gets a little wonky with with uh, yeah. action, but I'll let you do it. Um, okay. So, yeah, with, with, with the speed you have left, you guys can pull him about there. I'll say. If not, if she can handle him. Well, well, it's half speed through the swamp, and then it's half speed dragging somebody. Uh, so it's uh, like it's a slow shift so because you're moving through the muck and dragging him out of this kind of. Thick swamps. That's as far as you can get. Okay. It does not get any reaction though because it's currently still affected by the slow spell. And it looks like right now Ford is in a position where he's outside of the splash radius, which would trigger Caleb and uh, not. Yeah. What are you doing, Caleb? Uh, firing. Yep. Go for it. You fire, and you are using the uh, scorching ray from the glove. Yeah. First is a twenty. Second is an eighteen, and the third is a twenty. All hit. So they all hit. Nice. 22 uh, to hit for me. All right, go but it's not a sneak attack? Uh, no, no, there's nobody in range of it right now. Oh, okay, so five points. Five points of damage. Still conscious? Kill him, kill him, kill him. Five, 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 five points. Uh, if you get more than five points, he's dead. I did. Uh, a total of 27. How do you want to do this? Oh, oh there it is. Oh, I'm with these people. <laughs> and I'm going to uh, burn his head off. <laughs> There we go. As you turn, the glove sparkling, as you release these three blasts, uh, one strikes this chest and ignites this arm begins to burn black. This one hits the other shoulder and you watch as the torso begins to ignite. The third one finally hits right in the jaw and you see the out shadowed line of its face, its eyes and mouth open before incinerated to ash. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. I need you to go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw, please. Saving throw. Uh -huh. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit, Caleb! Oh shit! Oh, oh shit! shit! Oh shit! Fum. All right. Caleb's arms kind of just fall slack and slumps to his knees, kind of staring at the now flaming corpse of the troll as it slumps into the ground and begins to burn, half submerged in swamp water, half of it now just this burning mass of ash and flesh. Whoa. So. Wait, 
Are you That alive? was really graphic. Oh, he's still dead. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, dead we gotta, we gotta wake him up oh. now, because he's can almost I, dead. Oh, my God. Go ahead and another make a death saving throw. Healing spell. 19. Oh, yeah. right. that would have been That's the fine. end. I, <laughs> I just like making it. Mm -hmm. on him again. All right, go oh, for that. Stop doing this. <laughs> I feel like this is a rough day. <laughs> Ooh, 11 points this time. I just kind of like, 11 points? Mm -hmm. I just kind of back up against the tree and sit there in the water, just bre breaches in the water, just not caring. <laughs> 11 points. All righty. Uh, Bo gets up, seeing Caleb a little bit messed up, and I'm gonna go up to him and I'm just gonna kind of grab him and be like, let's take a walk. I'm going to, um, to pull him away, he, he's just kind of not present currently. It's fine, I'm just walking with him, just a little bit, slowly. Okay. I'm going to take my axe, and I'm going to try to cut out his heart. Okay. Just in case. All right. Uh, Very slowly, so it doesn't splatter. You have to wait a moment, because currently the body is in, engulfed. Yeah. Um, eventually the flames die down to the point where you can kind of carve into its body, but most of its flesh is just burned. It's definitely dead. Um, make a medicine check. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Twelve. Twelve, okay, no. You, you managed to, manage to eventually hack away, get to where the troll heart would be, and carve it out without damaging it beyond any sort of interest. <laughs> uh, it's like a deep forest green. It looks like it has uh, half formed additional ventricles that never fully completed. It's pretty disgusting. Uh, and and the fact and you go to touch it and your finger. I don't want to touch okay. it. Okay. I was going to use my fabric and try to get it out, like okay. a cloth or something. You pull it out. It is kind of corroding the cloth slowly. <gasps> Does anybody have anything glass or metal? I have. Yes. A little. Little. Put it in there! No, I'm not gonna no, do no, that. They can hold Wait, it. it's good. No, it's, it's like that big. Come on, it's cool. It's about, it's about a basketball size. We can keep it! We, what Why are you gonna do, do with that? You don't want that. that. I'm going to. Hold on. I'm going to sit on the ground. I'm gonna look through my stuff, see if okay. I have anything else. I'm gonna go through the skull. Do you wanna join me going through the skulls right now? Well, I was gonna go to Caleb's aid, but, What's but seeing Bo walk away with him, I just sort of nod and, 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 <laughs> and go back to looking through the skulls for Bo. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, both of you guys make investigation checks. Who's oh, looking through the rest no. of that? Yasha, what are you doing? Um, I'm just. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna Ten. start walking over towards where the skulls are. Okay. Are we doing an investigation? Yeah, do an investigation check. Twenty for me. Twenty. Ten. Ten. Okay. Um, unfortunately, the concussive blast of the uh, the dynamite oh. shattered most of the bones and any materials that were in here. Uh, so it would have been at one time been fairly easy to probably scavenge what remains. You gather from the patches of now dried and destroyed swamp ground that much of it has been scattered all across. You do manage to find some coins um, between the two of you, mostly you, not, and it takes some digging. You're like you're you're basically having to pan for gold here. You're going like in the muck and having to sift through your fingers and like pour your water out a bit, take it to the water. Uh, you managed to to find roughly twenty six gold pieces, nice, uh, nice. ten silver pieces, and uh, let's see about fifty copper pieces. Quarter of what we came God. back for, oh, but sweet. sure. Does, he have a, does his body have a pouch on him at all? Can I search the body? The body of the troll. The troll. Make an investigation check. Where's our bronze nasty Where's this body? body man? Yeah. Any other items that weren't destroyed? Uh, What's it? I'm sorry. Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, there's like f basic hides just kind of wrapped around the midsection. Uh, there is a small pouch. Uh, you kind of go inside and pull through, and immediately your hands hit something that feels very uh, cold and somewhat slimy. Looking inside, it looks like there are slivers of muscle, yeah. uh, like fresh muscle that have been torn off of some sort of a body, just kind of laid in there. Probably the smell's a little bit putrid. It may have been in there. Kind of pickling for a while. Hey, not! I found some pickled muscle for you. Is it what, what kind of what kind of species? Sli kind of, the slimy kind. You can make a medicine good. check to try and <laughs> identify. Like a pickle? What are we? Oh. <laughs> Man, a medicine wow. check for a second. Ten. Ten. It's probably human. It's probably human. I'll take that. Caleb, you shrink out of it. 
I'm gonna take the the hide and wrap it around the hide that he had like covering his junk and wrap it around the heart because obviously it can take being splattered by yeah. venom. Okay. And that it does. The hide, you know, in, in revealing the, the the partially singed troll dong, you also <laughs> managed to <laughs> properly wrap the heart for its own use. Yeah. Uh, you're using a junk wrap. Each campaign. Each campaign. It's, it's, it's a through line, line guys. It's a through line. 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 <laughs> no, I, think I don't want the dog. It's no sense repeating. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Ford, what are you doing? I'm sitting there, just wa- watching. The, yeah, watching Caleb and Yasha kind of walk off and feel sorry for myself. Okay, uh, Bo, uh, Caleb, you managed to snap out of it and kind of come back to I like reality. I hand him one skin and I say, "Here, this one's water. This one's booze." <laughs> Yeah. Take the water and I like kind of pour it out on a one of my sashes and kind of dab up his forehead a little bit. Okay. You all right? <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. Y'all yeah. mind if we take like a <coughs> short rest or something? Yeah, let's do that. There's a campfire over there that Yasha and I made oh, with the oil and the, the torch that we threw. Yeah. It's already done. Let's just go sit by that. Let's sit by the skulls. There is it's, 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 yeah. skull. it's, 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 a, it's a pile of, of bone and skull shards that is still kind of burning and will be burning for a while from the oil. It's cozy so. over here. It is. Yeah. I, can I get my oil flask back too? Can I? No. Ah. Uh, that flask shattered on impact, Damn. sorry. I'm gonna okay. roll three all right. Of my so you guys dice. go ahead and take a short rest. Yeah. Uh, I'll give out all the gold. <laughs> Whoa! You pass out the twenty-six gold. Yeah. So we all get three. <laughs> we all get three gold pieces. I'm keeping the extras. <laughs> the downside of throwing dynamite into the the reward pile. <laughs> you know. I heal 39 points. Nice. I only have one hit dice. All righty. So as you guys finish your short rest, you're feeling a little more, a little more collected. Uh, what do you wish to do? I guess we should go home, huh? GTFO. I mean, back to the town. Well, I mean, especially since we're now 100 gold richer. Mm-hmm. You look around and see Kyrie sitting there with a knife and is like stabbing don't, the troll body. Don't stab the troll. It's poisonous. Um, it will hurt you. It's not splashing venom, it looks like. Cutie. I guess you just get it out of your system then. That's fine. 26 and 10 silver. <laughs> are you done yet? <laughs> this means we are friends. <laughs> I think we're a bad influence on her. I don't think so, Cutie. Would you like some human jerky? <laughs> no, no, no. No! no, no. <laughs> what? That, I thought birds might like that. No. Don't eat human, Kiri. Don't stab humans and don't eat humans, okay? And don't stab humans, don't eat humans, okay? okay? Okay. Unless you're really out of anything to eat, then I suppose, you know, then desperate you know, time. Do what you have to. <laughs> well, I'm glad we uh, we did that. Shall we uh, continue on our way? Are you okay, Ford? You died twice. <laughs> Yeah, I just meant to well, stay. three times, because the first time he kind of snapped back up himself. Oh, that's true, three whole times. Yeah, yeah, it, that didn't go the way I planned. My strategy kind of went to shit. Do you still have the crazy eye thing in your stomach? In my stomach? Mm-hmm. I mean. I poke his stomach, does it feel like there's a hard thing in there? No, it seems classic Ford stomach. Just, just these abs, abs. babe. <laughs> 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 Can't feel anything you past the steel. steel. all six of them. <laughs> Eight of them. <laughs> Nine? Nine. Nine straight. That, that is a, uh, what do you call this? What do you have a, oh shit, hernia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess we'll just keep going. Yeah, we should probably uh, head back to town. Us. Oh wait, are you, are you, did they ever come back from their little walk? Yeah, imagine mm-hmm. we went back. Yeah, you shook it off. Yeah. Shook it off. He's great. How, how are you, Caleb? Good, I'm good. You went to a, you went, you just, you faded away there for a second. Are you okay? What happened? You good? Okay. He gets weird when he kills people when he burns them. He did it before. I mean, you don't have to. I think anyone would, really. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if Kiri would. She'd probably be cool with it. But Ford is still here, so that is the important thing. Let's focus on the good things in our lives. 
Yeah, thank you, Caleb. I mean, you Appreciate that. The problem. Yeah, I mean, I feel like those two aren't like mutually exclusive or anything, but yeah. Let's start walking. All right. <laughs> this is just getting awkward. Let's go. All, right. All right. So you guys continue making your way back towards Barrel Bend. You've made most of the journey, and uh, by the time the sky begins to subtly grow dark with the threat of dusk imminent in the next hour or so, you guys begin to make visual on the lantern lights in the outskirts of the northern side of the city. So, within a short time, before, the, before it gets too dark in the swamp, you manage to make your way inside Barrelbin proper. <gasps> we so did it! You're still in the puddles. In, other than that, like, bougie, terrible, underground situation. Did you just say bougie? Oh. God, never mind, I don't like you again. Yeah, I think there is other it, That was other pretty spots. bougie. Yeah, we were in the bad part of town. We can go to the nice part of town. What is, what is this word, bougie? Uh, like when uh, you want to try and seem fancy, but it's a little ostentatious. Is that in common? Is that a common word? I don't know. It's, it's a word that people use when they want to sound ostentatious it's, it's about how ostentatious yeah. something is. It's short for bourgeois, which is like super, you know, the ostentatious. The word for that is like seven syllables long. Mm. Mm. That's ostentatious. I'm going to cast sending. <laughs> oh, you're going to send the okay. message? Yeah. What's the message? Well, Completed first half of mission? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send money? Well. <laughs> Let's collect when we get back. So yeah, I'm going to cast sending and send a message to the gentleman. Safe house cleared. Okay. You cannot respond, though, right? You can reply to this. Oh, can't answer in a like manner immediately. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to say, hey, mm -hmm. Mr. Gentleman, we found your safe house. We cleared it out of a bunch of fish people. Don't worry, everything's fine now, okay? We also found a troll in the swamp. We killed that too. And we also <laughs> found some crocodiles. Please respond to this. If and you it, need anything, let us know. And his okay? agent is dead. His, his person out here is dead. And your agent out here, the guy with the no teeth, is dead. <laughs> okay, well, seeing as the, the spell's limit is 25 words. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there, there's a moment where you where you hear in your mind a familiar voice of the gentleman going, I think I catch your juice. <laughs> well done. Keep trucking. <laughs> With a confused rise at the end. <laughs> Question mark. Oh, <laughs> he interrupted me while I was telling him what no, he did. Yeah, there's still more to say. Yeah, there's so much more, but. I think he got the idea. We'll get the bonus. Just there's that person who keeps trying to re record the voicemail and gets cut off. <laughs> now, uh, re record. Oh one God, more time, one more time. I'm trying to send an email. <laughs> How does this work? All caps. As you guys are having this conversation, uh, near one of the lanterns, you see a, a cloaked figure that's kind of sitting on a bench suddenly stand up and face you and begin to walk towards you. <laughs> Wait, we're, we're in like the tavern? Where and you guess we? you're, you're we're walking like, through the puddles the of the city. Oh. Scatter, scatter! No. <laughs> uh, Take to the sewers! Right, the figure approaches. <laughs> we had somebody, somebody in the tech sneeze, I think. Um, Can I just pull and grab my staff a little bit? All the tech okay. staff? Ruin everything, there we go. I know. Yeah. Uh, the figure. <laughs> All I can see is something wrong. <laughs> The uh, the figure approaches and pulls the hood back, and you see a like a, a scruffy chin, uh, the unkept hair, a dirtier, but seemingly excited Horus <gasps> Thrime. Oh my God! Oh, he's not dead. Uh, uh, well, uh, word of a motley group of strangers spreads in whispers, and uh, I, I knew it had to be you based on the description. My, my, my friends, you you've come this way. Uh, it, it just this place is miserable. Oh, uh, do not think that I don't appreciate what you've done for me, please. Uh, no, you're right on the nose. It's pretty miserable. Yeah, this place sucks. As rough as this journey was, I'd rather be here than in a prison, so. Uh, uh, what, what word of Zadash has come? Is, is Dolan all right? He's fine. He was sitting pretty next to the other diplomats of the town. Yeah, he seemed like he was doing pretty good when we saw him. Except, of course, that they're making ready for war. I've heard whispers of that as well. Did you see oh. that crazy army right by? There's like a lot of horses. A lot. I've been here for over a week, so no, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure 
There was. Um, how long should I stay? What is the current uh, atmosphere oh. there? Oh, that is oh. a big question it's chaotic. at the moment, yeah. Is it safe to return, or should I hang low a little longer? You know longer? what? It might be, because I think they decided to charge other people with the crimes and stuff, so... The gates are pretty heavily watched, though. But are they still, <clears throat> though? Are they? At war? I, I don't would, remember. Uh, perhaps wait until you <laughs> receive word from... <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll remain he, in this he quaint better, city. Well, he has a better eye on the situation than we do. It's He's true. right in the thick of it now. It's true. I'll be patient. Thank you. I, I thank you all so much. I really appreciate Chorus. it. Do you have a lot of diamonds on you? Maybe some that are worth <laughs> 300 <laughs> So thirsty. N no. Okay. No, I don't. <laughs> Right. But if I do, I'll let you know. I, do. I, I'm on the lookout, okay? I genuinely wish to make this up to you at some point. If it is diamonds you require, I'll begin looking. Do you know of anywhere in town where they might have that many diamonds? He kind of stops and looks around the city and goes, <laughs> I don't know if this is the place. Yeah. Call me crazy, but. Is there anything of you so value here at all? Fish. Um, swamp fungus, herbs. Yeah, like this whole Poisonous town. Poisonous troll hearts. Yeah. You have it? <laughs> <laughs> he kind of like steps back. Where would we sell such a thing like this? Um, he starts thinking for a second and goes, maybe it? there, and points to what you see. It looks to be um, <laughs> another two-story building that had been burned and left to rot that now appears to be a hollow structure that is overgrown. With greenery and plants. Is that an apothecary? You have an That's apothecary here. Uh, it seems to be from what I've noticed in passing. My God, I miss shopping. Um, I'm I'm going to give him three gold for his trouble. Just uh, um, you're brilliant, and I'm heading in that direction. Thank you, thank you all. Um, if you see Dolan, tell him please come get me. No fear, it won't be too much longer. We're going to head back to the dash after we take care of some other business, and we'll be sure to check in. We're going to find its way to you soon. Thank you, thank you. Where are you staying right now? Oh, I'm over at the Drown Nest. Drown Nest. Our rooms there, are they underground and filled with water and mold? No, they're better than that place. Oh, great. <laughs> point, at where point, we stay? Points at the Keystone Pub where you guys stay. Yeah, who, would, Beautiful. who would stay there, right? I mean, <laughs> you can have my standards. <laughs> it's quaint and rustic, shut up. <laughs> I'm the not Drown there. Nest? Yes. Do they have a uh, tavern at the Drown Nest? Uh, I'm sure you could acquire a drink. Trust me, most of the folks here have to. Yeah. You feel safe here. I noticed your hood was up when you approached us. Just precautions. Fair Not enough. a lot of business happens here that you won't get mingled in unless you go looking. So I just stay put. We'll send word. It was good to see you. You as well. If, if you pass by the drowned nest, hopefully we can have a drink. And he makes his way up towards the uh, central part of the town by the midway docks. Man, I'm glad he's alive. I thought he was one of the dead bodies we found in the safe house. Me too. Mm. Me too. Where the hell did Molly go? He went in the apothecary, and I take off running to the apothecary. All right. Thank you. You approach, and you can see there's a sign that's hanging from a chain from uh, two iron hooks that are long, rusted, this like dull brown and red color. Uh, it reads across the front, the fungal font. Mm -hmm. What yeah. kind of font is it written in? <laughs> Papyrus. <laughs> oh! <laughs> No. Never, oh, never God. enter if it's papyrus. Never. No business spent here. <laughs> <laughs> All I wanted. Um, so uh, you approach. The, the door is closed currently. I give it a knock. I'll even mind the knock. Sorry for closed. You're not buying today. We're closed. It's sundown. We're not shopping out. <sighs> Already. What time do you open tomorrow? Sunrise. Are you sure you don't want to perhaps buy a fresh uh, troll heart? What? I have a troll heart. It's full of poison. Very wet. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> Make a, a persuasion real check. Wet troll Make heart. Do I roll oh, advantage because Molly's so helping? Uh, you are helping. I'll give yeah. you advantage. Yeah. 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 
<laughs> that was a roller coaster right there. Not a bad guy there. You two just became that Muppet meme that was made. <laughs> Twenty-two. There's a moment, and you hear. The door opens, and you see on the inside this kind of wild looking gaunt dwarf who has like a chin beard with green moss kind of growing on each wow. side of it. Um, his clothes look a little moist, and his forehead glistens with sweat, and he kind of peers through his eyes, kind of popped out. He said, You have a troll heart? Come in, come in. Opens the door and lets you both inside, closes the door behind. Uh, um, uh, so, I'm sort of curious as to how you came across this troll heart. Did you kill the troll? We killed the troll. We found a troll and we killed it. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm very impressed. Um, uh, um, Do you want to see it? I would like to very much. Place it on this counter, please. Okay. Um, mm. On the leather of which you carried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I opened the leather and kind of opened it around it. <coughs> Oh. He reaches over and grabs some of these metal tongs and starts like kind of pushing and aye, 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 aye. I am inspecting it. Not in prod. It's fine. Takes a moment to look right. around. I can see there are some very fascinating uh, applications that can come from this. Aortas yeah. and chambers and stuff. It is quite uh, exquisite. Um, I would be happy to buy this off of you. Um, do you have an asking price, or would you like me to make an offer? Or could we also we could talk about trade, possibly? If you've Probably, got some like stuff. you could buy it and also give us some stuff. If you've got <laughs> stuff to trade, <laughs> you seem like a clever fellow. I'm sure you've got something around here that's interesting and unique. Without breaking eye contact, it starts rummaging behind like this small wooden table that acts as this counter, which has a bunch of these little like planters and like you know potted, weird. Looking swamp fungus and, and plants that are kind of like grown together and entwined. One of them you kind of lean a little close and it kind of puff, a little spore goes off and you back away just <laughs> carefully. He pulls up, uh, you hear like the clanking of glass and he pulls up these two small jars and kind of opens this. I could um, spend the night preparing for perhaps some medicinal potions. <laughs> like really strong ones? As strong as you'll find this side of the bender. <laughs> Oh my God. Or is that like regular, or stronger than that? I don't know. I have to brew it to find out. It's not a perfect art form. You're impatient. I, I'd say, I'd say if you brew something together, you we'll see what a, you put together, yeah. and we'll definitely talk about what this is worth in the morning. And if you have anything unusual that you put together, if you have a signature blend of any kind, I'm always interested in people who are excited to experiment. Unusual. Yeah. But I'm more interested in the healing potions. Sky. That too. Right. The morning, then. We'll see you bright and early. What's his name? Take that What's your name, What's by name? the way? Smythe. Smythe Durban. Pleasure to meet you. Smythe, Smythe. Durban. Oh, man. Do you think it would be better to leave this here to see nope. how it's nope. or something nope. like that? I mean, we killed a troll, so it's not like nope. we can't kill him if it goes wrong. Yes, I'm right. taking it with me. Bex is back. Bex is back. Smythe Durban is, knows, or has a gimp. <laughs> Hundred <laughs> percent, for sure. For sure. Why, why must you sully everything good and pure in this world, Sam? <laughs> there's just no there's a halfling wrapped in parchment paper underneath the shop. <laughs> this is where all those manacles have been coming from. Oh no! Oh my god! They haven't been in the zipper yet, so it's lace. Um, oh. All right, so. Perfect. We'll be back in the morning. Let's go. Let's go. T yeah. Take a rest. Very well. Good night. Sleep well. Return, please. Mm -hmm. Closes the door. What a nice guy. I really like him. I did. I did. Mm. I liked him a lot. All right. So, what are you guys doing for the evening? Oh, let's go check out the drowned nest, yeah, shall we? Yep. There was a place around. There's a better place than the Keystone Pub. We head to the drowned nest. Yes. Okay. Drowned nest. Get so you head to the midway docks, kind of following the outskirts of the dry docks, which are a number of these these wooden docks that head out into various edges of the swamp, where you can see there are small boats that are currently roped off and being watched by the crown's guard that come across with torches and just make sure nothing gets stolen or anyone's doing anything uh, untoward over in the area. Um, 
asking around, you eventually find your way to what is a relatively simple looking building, a uh, single story, but it stretches quite a bit, and you can see a number of windows that are faintly glowing with candlelight. Uh, on the inside, uh, it does appear to be a simple inn with a small uh, bar in the far corner. It's better than uh, the Keystone Pub, but um, only incrementally. Uh, entering inside, it's relatively quiet. Uh, looks to be one person who's drinking alone in the far end. Um, and you see across the way a female human, kind of in her middle age, warm smile, a cracked face, who glances up from a, a small book that she's thumbing through and goes, Oh, good evening, folks. Can I help you? Yes, you can. We're, uh, we're weary travelers in need of respite and perhaps some drinks. Well, I can provide both. My name is Uma Cole. Pleasure to meet you. Uma. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, um. Is that a dirty hand? Oh, no, I keep quite clean. I was asking out of character, but. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Did you give me the so dirty hand, <laughs> ma'am? <laughs> I was trying to process what that was referring to. <laughs> oh, you stop. <laughs> no, the hand is clean. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, we do have about four rooms available for rent, if you are willing to stay for the evening. Our selection of uh, liquors and uh, beers are not extremely um, Versatile, but welcome to provide as needed. <laughs> that sounds absolutely fantastic. Whatever we'll you take think that we rooms. shouldn't leave town without trying. Very well. Uh, that would be five silver per room for the night's stay. We'll take them all. All four rooms. That'll be two gold pieces, please. I got it. You got it? Last Thanks, Lord. No Thanks problem. Lord. Thanks for uh, making sure I was okay back there. What a gentleman. I saved his life, like, multiple times today. Well, good for you. Thank you. I mean, to be fair, he saved our lives dozens of times. Ooh. <laughs> mm. He's very dapper. He just touches the hearts of all of us. A sailor, Where too. would we be without Ford? All gone, all I dead. I don't know. Yeah. But I mean, he's not that cool or anything. I mean, you probably wouldn't be interested in him at all. Of course not, I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you interested in him? <laughs> Here are your keys. <laughs> <laughs> Strangely surrounded by a group of strangers now accosting her with various degrees <laughs> of insinuation. Um, drinks wise, we prefer more hard liquors or um, more of a, an ale or beer. Hard. 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 Uh, any surprise you have? Well, anything at all. Only a couple of surprises at my disposal, but she Do brings up. Do you have any ginger ale brilliant. or like. <laughs> Like Very fresh simple. milk, or like she pulls up this like this this dark green bottle and kind of uncaps it. I mean, it's beer, but it's practically ginger ale, not very alcoholic. Hands it over to you. You can't drink in real life, and you just, you still won't drink on graph paper. Okay, round round of liquor for all of you guys would probably run you about here, three silver pieces. It's not very expensive. I'll do that as well. It's exactly what I have. What book are you reading, Master? Oh, nothing. She kind of tucks it under. Just keeping my mind busy. <laughs> anyway, uh, welcome to stay if you like. Uh, we don't have food um, available here. Um, you may have to go over to the Keystone Pub for that, but we do offer fine uh, sleeping arrangements. Is it a busy night? Any uh, new travelers, anyone that caught your eye coming in before us? <laughs> Not to the degree that you have now. Well, I'm flattered. <laughs> Well, Thank I'm gonna you. go get a drink. Yep. I've got cards, I'm gonna play, and I'm gonna drink, and then we've gotta discuss what's happening tomorrow. Yes. True, we'll we find should, our uh, way over to a table, yeah. Yeah, I'll go get a table. Does someone wanna tuck Kiri in? Yeah, Kiri at this point is leaning up in the counter towards the woman and goes like, don't eat humans, okay? Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> the woman goes like, oh. She's the sweetest, isn't she? She's wearing a mask, she's not really a bird. <laughs> Make inception check. Oh no. Oh, oh low. Oh no. Oh, that's surprising. Twenty. Uh, she goes. Well, <laughs> children in their costumes. <laughs> yes, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> She grabs her book and starts reading for her to find the counter. <laughs> Can we see the cover once she grabs the book? No. Uh, actually, this is the plain leather. It's dust cloth. 
Yeah, that's it's definitely a dust cloud. Bloody bounty hunters. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are you guys doing? We head over to a table in the corner to discuss. All right, you got your drinks. They're functional at best. This, is, this isn't a bad establishment, but it's a plain establishment. But it works. You see you guys and one other patron who currently just seems to be like deep in their cups, just thinking on their own. They're out of your shot. You have your own table. Well, we seem to be doing fairly well. How do we feel about setting out in the morning to... Uh... Creek, Shady Creek? Yeah, Shady Creek Run. Yeah, I'm ready to. Ophelia Mardin. Was, was there anyone else here or, uh, that we were supposed to see or anything else we were supposed to do? No, no, we're, we're on a bit of a time crunch. But to get we, both we have to stop things. by this fungus place to get some potions. We'll do that on the way yeah. out once we, just, we put the car together. Well, it yeah, opens at sunrise, this so is, we should be good. I think we've done what we needed. This is kind of a one troll town, I think. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a great time to be out here. Yeah, we can catch up on some rest, and uh, oh, we got to get the carriage, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. And the horses back. Yeah, they're at the docks or something. Yeah. We, yeah. Oh, that means yeah. I got to go over to the, what, where, where did we stay before? The uh, Keystone Pub. I got to get it from that guy. Well, yeah, no, that he, guy. He dropped them off at the place. He did. The central <laughs> stables. We paid yeah. way too much money to have him store Yeah, but we don't horses. know where the stables are. Right? funny. No. The central stables. We just have to ask where they are. We don't have to go back to the other pub. Yeah. They may not give it don't to us unless for. he's there. Now we're able to get it. Oh, us. well, all right. Hey, Yasha. I have validation. Yes. It's okay. Midway Docks. That's where we go. Midway Docks. Yasha, I saw you asking about that book that the lady had. Yes. Do you want me to get it for you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I would love that. All right. I miss this. Maybe, maybe make it, place an order or get her attention so I can go snag it real quick. Okay, would you like me to try to? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I'll cast made him. Okay. Oh, why not? Another round, please. And I'll put yes. a gold for everyone down. Okay. She goes, oh, but uh, of course. Uh, I'll go ahead and get that for you. She pushes, closes the book and puts it beneath the counter and runs off and grabs uh, the bottle that she had already previously poured, which is shakes it and it's fairly empty, so she grabs another and then heads over to your table and begins to uncork and fill the drinks. As she's filling, I'll mage hand back and try to grab the book. Okay, you do not see where it is. You still have to have visual. Okay, I'll walk over there then. Make a stealth check. Uh, that's not great. <laughs> 14. <laughs> Just be looking, you know, for good okay. stuff. Okay. She walks in, pouring drinks, and kind of looks over her shoulder in your direction. I'm still Hello. pouring, but she's kind of looking at you. Kids, huh? Ooh, they're always wandering off. Apparently. Goo goo ga ga. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I see where the book is now? You do see it from your perspective, but she is watching you. Okay. Uma, has anyone ever told you that you have eyes like the sea? Oh, yeah. Are you making persuasion? <laughs> bow, bow, bow. I've been feeling. Shit, nine. <laughs> Come on, that's my jam. <laughs> yes, uh, Uma, they are like a sky blue. She finishes pouring the drinks, caps, caps it up, and goes, Well, I appreciate the flattery. I really do. Have a wonderful night. And then walks back towards where she was sitting, but like as she does so, the eyes are just locked on you, not. Goes back to her stool. Ford, <laughs> what was that? I don't know. I, what was that? It, I, it just, Is that like, how you uh, talk to a woman? I, I'm, I'm not real practiced. I'm sorry. I, Your eyes are like the sea. Well, yeah. We're in a landlocked part of the place here. She doesn't even know what that means. She, she should have said like the swamp. Yeah, right? Your the eyes, swamp. your eyes are like stagnant water. Yeah. Green yeah. and no. Don't. Green and yellow in places. I, uh, yeah. I walk directly up I'll to the they bar. They look to like a bar. troll yeah. took a shit in <laughs> can, I, oh, no. can I help you? Than yeah, you know, I, I'm good on drinks. I was just curious what it is uh, that you are reading. Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> For a question? <laughs> Okay. She doesn't like us very much. Yeah, she hates us. She's had a bad series of minutes with you guys. Uh, just a nine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading a fine story. Is it? Is it fiction? It is. I am so starved for a good book, and we've just been in the wild for a while. I don't suppose there's, I mean, I doubt it, but is there any place to find literature here? I had to order this from Zadash, unfortunately. Oh, that sounds terrible. How long does it take for it to get here? Well, since the order goes out there and pay upon delivery, it took me a better part of a month to get here. I commiserate for your 
Uh, thirst for fiction. I uh, struggled with it myself. Uh, how far in are you? Are you almost finished with it, or? I'm on about uh, three chapters in. It's just starting to get interesting. Is it a page turner? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You know, I'm obviously just a little bit jealous, but uh, I don't want to take you away from your reading time. Make perception check. Nine. <laughs> You can see there's a little bit of text, like just barely visible at this proximity to the cover of the book, but you can't make it out in this low light. The T, this is with a U, <laughs> with an S, with a K. Yeah. The T. With the L. L. She the takes, with a K. She takes it and closes it and puts it beneath the counter. Is there anything else I can help you with, no, sweetie? No, that's fine. You enjoy. I give her a wink and I go back to the. Uh, this is right. gonna drive me crazy. Let's fucking kill her. <laughs> 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 yeah, but you know what they say, it's location, location, Yeah, this, location. this sounds sucked. It's not, yeah. it's really not yeah. that I'm gonna good. go up to the bar. Oh, oh my god. god. She's just pulled the book out, opens it up and goes, here's the, Hi. Hello. Here's the thing, you've made this very intriguing, this book that you're reading, and I, now I can't leave here without knowing what it is. <laughs> Make an intimidation <laughs> check. <laughs> Were you being intimidated? The break your What's artery my, flexes my intimidation is minus side. two, but we said we could yeah. use. Well, it depends on how you're being intimidating. Are you gonna like Flex. physically threaten her to no, show the no, book? No, no, I'm just then really. Then it's charisma based. You got Shit. this, Yasha. This is I subtle. In you. No. Um, that would be a zero. My charisma is minus two. She goes. I apologize, but <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> but your behavior, paid customer or not, has been lackluster, and I would appreciate if I could have my privacy. I wouldn't give you privacy, I just don't understand why we can't know what you're reading. Why are you so interested in what I'm reading? Because it looks like it's very good. <laughs> I will go sit down, fine. Just, I miss reading. I miss it a lot. I have a book you can read, Yasha. I just want to know what she's reading. Sister and Molly, you have not tried yet. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, so we plan a heist for tonight. We wait till she's asleep. Well, in the morning, we'll have we'll send her for the horses and the carriage. And perhaps it's time we turn in. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I, I pound mine and I head to Mar Molly. Are we bucking uh, up? I'm finishing this. I'll be right up. All right. You guys finish up your respective drinks. I go last. I feel like we only need three rooms, but. It's just an extra couple gold. I leave two gold on the counter before I leave. <laughs> For you, no matter what, but if you tell me what it is, I promise I won't tell the rest of them. I just want to lord it over them. She palms the two gold. It's called feathered leather. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Enjoy your evening. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. And I head upstairs. She pockets the gold hat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> some some bard somewhere in the past has penned a story oh my <laughs> about a dark night in leather and feathers. Yes. I've seen that Tumblr post. <laughs> For the record, I tell none of you. Yeah. All right. So you guys manage to get your evening's rest. You gather your things wait, wait, the next wait. morning. Okay. Before I go to sleep, All right. I want to use my pearl of my power, pearl of power, my power pearl and my power pearl, pearl and regain power a pearl. third level spell. Mm -hmm. And I want to cast sending on my mama. <gasps> and I'm just going to say, "Hi, mom. I got the new spell. I want to say thank you for the package you sent me. I know that." It was really hard for you to do that, and I love you so much, and I hope everything's okay with you. And I got your letter and the ink, and I think it's so <laughs> 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 the, the, As you're talking, as you're talking, you hear and you hear in your mind this gasp. <gasps> Jester, I, I don't know how, but uh, I 
It's so good to hear from you. Did you get my package? Oh no, can I respond to it? No. Oh no, I don't have it. Pause. Well, wherever you are, I love you. <laughs> and I hope you are well. If you. I think that's all. Oh! Maybe next time if you write down the the words so you can like know which are the most important words. Okay, I need yeah. to tell her I got her package. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wasn't counting the words, but I think that gets the gist of it. About yeah. Somewhere in there. Somewhere in there. Okay, okay. As I'm sure I'll get like 14 tweets going like, um, that was only 22 words. <laughs> yeah. Like it's fine, it's fine. Three of those tweets will be from me. I know. <laughs> oh, I know, Talison. That's why I'm nipping this in the bud. <laughs> Before we turn in, turn in. It's just Molly and I in our mm -hmm. room, right? Yeah. Can I confide in you for something? Oh, yes, please. I'm, uh, I'm a little unnerved about this sword. Would you, would you stand watch for a second? It seems like a bad idea, sure. All right. <laughs> Let's. I'll summon the Waste Hunter Falchion. As it emerges from your grasp, you can see there's the slight splash of seawater across the wall. And there you can see in the center of the pommel, previously was just the uh, well-crafted hilt of the blade, you see a single yellow lidless eye on each side. Is it, is it look side. like, is, is, is it look like anything? Is it, does it remind me of like a, a, a mystic symbol of any kind, or? Um, make, make an arcana check. All right, just an arcana check. Let's see what happens. Natural 20. Whoa. I'm back, baby. Sexy. <laughs> I need to, yeah. There's no religious symbology here. Um, in thinking through, there's, there's nothing that gives you the essence that there is uh, any sort of belief system locked into this that you're aware of. Um, but looking at it in one, it immediately reminds you of whatever it was that he jammed into his stomach. And two, the, the image of it and the kind of sea-based theme of this, these experiences that Ford has been having uh, leads you to believe that this is something very old and something something that resides probably beyond land and possibly beyond this sea. That's as much as I can give you. Which is more than you should have gotten, but you rolled a 20. <laughs> Does the iris move at all, or is it just static? Uh, currently, it's just static. What happened to you on that boat? Um, something might have followed you. N nothing like this. I I've never seen anything like this eye before, only in that, that dream where Vanderen was holding it. He pushed it in his chest, but this is smaller. This sword just seems to take in, take in things. You're going to forgive me for this later. I cast friends. <gasps> okay, so for the next minute, you have advantage on your charisma checks. I forget what friends does. It, just it doesn't do anything to you. It just gives him advantage on oh, charisma checks with you. Oh, nice. Actually, I'm so sorry. Not friends. I'm so sorry. It's not friends. It's charm person. You're doing charm person. I'm so sorry. It's charm person. Make a wisdom saving throw. Thank you. Why did I ask? Uh, it's an 18. And he resists it. You feel your mind begin to cool with subtle, arcane influence, and you shrug it off. There's something in you that you either don't want to talk about or don't remember properly, I think. Well, you could have just asked. <laughs> no, I don't think I could have. If anything, it's the latter. There's I not know. a lot I remember about being in the ocean. Which being... is why I didn't ask. Right. I trust that you'll tell me everything you know, but I'm not sure you even know everything you know. Maybe, but that's why I asked you to stay in the room. I'm not entirely sure I trust this thing. I don't think it matters where the sword is at all. Maybe. Can I try and focus on the sword? 
I close my eyes, put both hands on the hilt, and just concentrate on it real hard. (laughs) (laughs) Sword of CI, give me sight beyond sight. (laughs) Uh, Go ahead and make, make an intelligence check. Just a straight roll with your intelligence modifier. It's a 10. A 10. You grab it and you focus and you focus and you focus. And much like an element of the dreams you've had and the spells that you pull from whatever this uh, agreement you've made with this entity may have been, uh, you can feel that thread connection from you to something beyond your hemisphere. It's like that, that sensation of someone looking at you and you just know someone's looking at you, and you turn to look and there's nobody there. It's like that all the time, right now. But you can't read more than that. Last thing, may I? Don't take any offense, but no. And I make it disappear. Something from the deep is in that, I don't know. It reminds me of something. Yeah, me too. I'm just not sure what. Please, I, I only confided in you because I feel like the strange is sort of your you know, ballpark. I'll keep an eye, and no matter what, keeping each other safe, that's what we do. It's what you do when you're, you've got a group of people. Agreed. We'll keep you safe. Appreciate it, Molly. And I'll turn in. I'll probably be up for an hour and then I'll turn in. (laughs) Okay. As we go to rest for the evening, let's go ahead and make that as our break. So we'll come back here in just a few minutes to pick up the story for the next leg of your journey. Uh, In the meantime, guys, enjoy these next few minutes. Uh, Enjoy the videos and chaos in between. We'll see you here shortly. Yay! Yay! Welcome back, everybody. So. Let's go ahead and dive back in. As you all come to consciousness the following morning, a much more comfortable sleep than that you had at the Keystone Pub. (laughs) You gather your things. Upstairs, there are a few more patrons that are in the process of waking up since there is not uh, a meal provided for sleeping here. Um, They're just getting out of the grog and having some coffee, some of them having some hair of the dog, and they all go about their business. What do you want to do with your day? We have to go to that shop. Molly. Let's let's uh, go to the shop, everybody. Do we, anybody wants to go shopping? Can go shopping. Anybody else who wants to okay. wrangle up the cart? Yeah, I'll go with you. <coughs> I'll tell Una, Uma to go collect the, the cart and the horses from the... You have to pay her to do it. Yeah, I'll pay her. Yeah. She, she goes, um, to, to pick up your money at, uh, at the stables, you say, on the, the docks, um, how can I assure them that I'm allowed to do so if I did not check them in? It is what you said. You need a valet ticket. You do need a valet ticket. Did we get a valet ticket? I think that we did. I write a valet ticket really fast. Here you go. You That's forge it? What, yep. Oh do you have a forgery no, kit? No, no, no. I do. No, no. <laughs> we're not. We're not no. going to afford it. As much as I'm kind of Why? into this. Look, if no. you don't have one, you have to pay full price if you lose it. Okay. Or we just kill them. I'll go down and get them myself. But you might have to go and. And do then that. I'll kill them. Uh, I'll do it. <laughs> no, I'm gonna go with Thor to get. Why, why don't the you? Cart. Why don't you all meet us at the? Get the cart and you'll meet us at the apothecary. Okay. okay. Just in case you need backup. Yep. If we need to kill, kill them, kill we them. can. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you guys go ahead and head off. You gather uh, the cart. Easy enough to do. You can gather your supplies, the horses. They're all good to go. You guys are heading towards uh, towards the fungal font. Mm. You are. Get a lot of healing yeah. potions. Oh, are we all going? Yeah, the, the rest of us. No, I want to go for a walk uh, on the edge of town for something. Hey, will you take Kiri with you? Yeah, of course. All right. Do you want, Don't do you want me to come as trouble. well? Yeah, of course. Okay, I'll come. Get a lot of healing potions. I'm going to. Okay. Meet us at the park, Kiri. <laughs> Kiri, you have okay. to get into trouble. <laughs> no, we're, uh, we are not going to get in trouble. Get into trouble. Nine. <laughs> nine. Nine for nine. Nine. Oh my god, so cute. Be good. We're just going on a stroll, yeah? We're not going to kill anything, you're not going to, you know, just taking a walk. You know. 
Okay. <laughs> you are pretty cute, come on. Turns to nod as you guys walk off. <clears throat> Wrapped around his weenie. <laughs> <laughs> continue making your way to the swamp. Yeah. The two of you, new brand mascot. <laughs> you guys make your way to the, uh, the fungal font. Uh, the doorway is partially ajar, it as, is open. As we walk there, I, uh, to the rest of these four, three, say, uh, no, you're not there. No. Nope. To these two, say, all right, guys, real talk. What are we going to do with Kiri? I've been thinking about that. We can't keep her with us. Why not? She's going to die. In front of you. Bloody, <laughs> horribly, <laughs> brutally. Oh, man. You're going to be real sad about it. So we got to let her go. We can't just let her go. No, we can't let her go, but I'm saying we have to let her go from our group somewhere safe. What if, what if I try to get a hold of her parents or something? Can you do that? Do you, do you need to know who her parents Aren't are? They did. <laughs> I'm pretty sure her parents are, are in a giant lizard. Rated. They got, but we don't know yet. But we have a map, and maybe she can show us on the map where she thinks she needs to go. We can't just. What are we going to do? Just let her send her on her way by herself? No, I didn't say that. I said if we know which direction she needs to head, we can figure out possibly if we can get her there. Oh, okay. That's fair. I think we need to get her out of this swamp. Because sure. this place is terrible. This place is terrible. And I wouldn't want to live here. No one should live here. I'm not going to subject a poor little child bird to that. No. Yeah. She does drink a lot and occasionally seem interested in eating human flesh. I'm not entirely, well, that's a, that's a subject for another You're right, day. she could grow up and like run this town. She could. She could be like her own gentleman. Oh my god, she's her own mob boss? <gasps> I hope so. I like that. <laughs> I have high hopes for her, yeah. Well. Just let that Maybe I can talk to her and have her write down exactly what her parents looked like or something, and I can See try to okay. send the message to them. Okay, I think that'd be good. We'll start there. Put a pin in this for now. Just draw some birds. <laughs> just, that birds. looks like a pigeon. Birds. There's a there's a you know, there's a bird in a bonnet. Another one smoking a pipe. That's all I really. <laughs> 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 Think about that, yeah. Okay, okay. All right. All right, you guys make your way into the fungal font, and there you see, kind of waiting anxiously, there's the uh, sallow dwarf sitting in a small chair in the corner, kind of, ah, so uh, that is the hat. Did you bring it? Right here. Right, okay, so I've been working on something for you based on what you requested, and I have these. And he puts these two vials on the table. One of them is a healing potion, larger than the basic kind. Uh, the other <laughs> the other is like a, a sky blue color, and as he sets it on the table, as soon as it impacts, there's like a flash, and you see some sparkles go <laughs> through it before exciting. it settles. He goes, I'm going to be honest, not entirely certain the extent of what this is. Um, it, is, it protects you from something. I know it, the basis of it is insulation. Um, What's the gold stuff in there? I don't, don't see what you mean. Gold What's the stuff that just swirled around when you put it on the table? It taps it again and it looks like a spark. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> But I bet it's interesting. We knew the name, if we knew the name of everything we put in, down our gullet, there would be no fun ever cool at any time. Potion. I'm very excited. Okay, okay, okay. It's riboflavin. So. <laughs> what else? I will trade these and put a uh, a topper of fifty gold pieces. I'm all right with this. I think that sounds like a pretty cool deal. I'm into it, yeah. I'll throw in for it. Yeah. I'll throw in 25 gold. Wait, no. 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 Oh, wait. Bo, what? No. What's happening? He's Bo. paying us. Oh, I mean. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm pulling oh, a grog. Okay. You totally oh, pulling a grog. Pull a grog. <laughs> I thought you were saying it was going to cost an extra 50 on top. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give us that money. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you don't mind, he grabs the leather. <laughs> he grabs the leather and like carefully moves it off the table and puts it in a small chest. <laughs> closes it. Goes and counts out fifty gold pieces. 
shoves it your way and goes, thank you for your patronage. So if we were to take that 50 and possibly spend it on something in this shop, is there anything we should take a look at? Um, it depends on what you're looking for. I have various balms and salves help with headaches, wounds that are festering, um, some that help with uh, helping your manhood come to light, some that help you with sleeping if you're having insomnia. What's the manhood thing? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. They Delirious. help you. There's sometimes guys have problems with the and then there's oh. potions that can help with that. Uh, My mom said. I'm curious about the, 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 the sleeping thing you have, and again, anything anything you're particularly proud of. I'm just going to look around the store. <laughs> All right. I'm always excited for a surprise. Uh, essentially, over about five minutes, mm. I'm showing you around. They're mostly just general, general herbal stuff. remedies for day-to-day -day ail, you know, ailing elements. Looks like all the special stuff that he had at his disposal Weird. went into those potions. Everything else has been just, you know, general helping, like melatonin, you know, like things that help I'll you take a little. Sleep bit. aids and uh, whatever, whatever helps you sleep. Some sleepy tea or whatever, anything like that. All right, uh, that's uh, five five silver for enough for ten doses. Mm, perfect, and. Uh, <laughs> You, you buy your own issue. That's if you, whatever you've got a problem with, you can buy it yourself. Is not where my point is going. Um, and anything that smells nice, just uh, whatever. Yes, there are some lavender oils That'll I could it. recommend to you. Here it is. I uh, hope you like it. It's Perfect. quite nice. Rub some on his wrist. Mm. Yes. How much for the whole deal? <laughs> How much for the whole deal? Uh, for for the oils and and your sleeping, I put it surrounded. Uh, I say seven silver pieces. I'll just I'll give the good. Can you do change one gold? I can. Thank you. Gives you three silver back. Thank you. <laughs> We're having our own story over here. <laughs> Look for the I'm aware of ignoring it. We're on the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys finish up there? I'm fine, I'm gonna put it in my additional notes right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys are heading off to the edge of the swamp with Kiri. Oh yeah, um, I, I, this is so silly, I'm uh, looking for a good uh, stone. What, what kind of a stone? A Just big, a big stone? Skipping no, stone? No, something with a little bit of heft to it. Um, Do you need Kiri. it for a spell? Not exactly, uh, but they, I don't really have anything specific. I guess I'll know it when I see it. Just something about yay big. You know, um, my father used to tell me that if a stone had a ring around it all the way, it was lucky. If a stone had a ring around it? Yeah, you know, like a natural formation, a coloration, right? It doesn't matter, though, just a good... I start looking for a stone. Uh, Curie, help us look for a stone. A good one. Okay. I'll look with him. Make an investigation check, one of you, with advantage if you're aiding the other. Uh, I will make the check with your help, if that's okay. Sure. Uh, okay, come back. Uh, that is a 13. And but you get with advantage. Oh. That is a 14. All right, and what particular are you looking for? Looking for a just nice... A stone uh, about as large as a... Malformed baseball, I suppose. Okay, it takes you mm, best upwards of ten minutes. Not very long until you find one that's roughly that size. It's not perfectly spherical. It's still a little. It's got its imperfections, but is it's there, pretty smooth. Is there a ring around it? Uh, I'll say there's a very, very faint ring around it. Sure. That's a lucky rock. <laughs> what will you use it for? I'm not sure exactly. I have some ideas. Um. <laughs> you know, Caleb, I, I, I never told you this um, before, but when we met that um, that dragon lady, Carrie, 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 it's a lot of K's. Um, I, she, she gave me uh, this scroll of invisibility. I've been hanging on to it, but I didn't know if you wanted to look at it and maybe learn from it or something. I, I mean, does an armored bear shit in the woods? Oh, yeah, I want to see it. Let me see yeah, it. Yes. I didn't want the others to see it just in case it was. Ooh. That's a good one. Yeah. Do you want to, can, you, can you learn that now? Or? Uh, I mean, I could use it right now, but that seems detrimental mm. if I had the proper funding. And, uh, well, I have. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I, if I had proper funding and materials, you know, but uh, maybe later. Okay. I'm just going to keep it safe for the moment. Great. 
it, it, also, I'm so sorry that I got you in trouble with Bo for the whole bowl incident. I just, I, I, I didn't realize that she was going to freak out on you like that. Uh, either did I, but um, we're figuring it out. Well, you took a walk with her. Was that okay? Was that awkward? Oh, I was, uh, yeah, that was fine. She's, uh, she's, uh, yeah, she's probably a good egg. I think so, too. Yeah. In her weird, sort of stoic way, she seems to care about you. Yeah, she's a prickly pear, but um, she's not a bad person. Do you think she was, like, dropped on her head or something? Like, she's, she's very, just sort of, yeah, you know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, yeah, just kind of. I mean, I think you and I are a little air eh, in our own yeah. particular way. Yeah, that's true. I mean, she's abrasive, but that has its uses. It does. Yeah, right tool for the right job. Mm -hmm. Right, Kiri? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> she knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> 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 You good? good? You're still good? I'm, I'm very good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Things I'm, are looking up, I think. Things are looking up, and, and you know, but earlier you said that I could come talk to you whenever I want, and thank you for that. That makes me feel very good. Uh, Yeza was his name. The, the halfling man. That the... Before. I don't know. That's all. I just wanted to say his name out loud. Yes. It's been a, it's been a while. That's a good name. Names are important. Yeah. Well, you got your rock. Got my rock. All right. Let's rock out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Gary, come on. Before we leave, or as we're leaving the store, I just want to say, Molly, yeah. um, just stay inside for a little bit, okay? And just keep talking to the guy, okay? For just a minute. All right. And I'm going to use my paint, and I'm going to change the sign to the fungal fart. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, make a sleight of hand check, if you don't mind. I'll give you advantage if you manage to succeed on a deception check. Hmm. All right. What are you going to do with that heart, anyway? <laughs> well, I have many possible uses. I could extract all sorts. That's a seven. <laughs> so just make a roll. <laughs> Ooh, 20. With a quick flourish, you complete a fairly accurate <laughs> recreation of the font utilized in its glorious papyrus. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, without him noticing from behind the door. And uh, with that, you complete your conversation. The rest of you meet up just as you hear the clomping of horse hooves. And uh, <laughs> all of you gather in the center of the puddles. The clomping is the splashing as you guys do. There's still at like two inches of water in this section of barrel bend. So boom, 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 boom. I think I'm getting athlete's foot from just like all the moisture in my shoes from this I can place. heal that. Really? Yeah. It's so itchy. Yeah, it's called jungle rot. Oh, really? <laughs> yep. Oh. Hey, you've got oh. our stuff. Whose stuff? Is everything relatively all right on the cart? Doesn't look like it's been. You guys take a moment to look through. Everything's intact. We had to kill them all, but we got it. Yeah. <laughs> the option was surprisingly effective. Yeah, that's not surprising. I trust you. It's the only way to be sure. Yeah. Here he comes up. Uh, she's probably a good egg. What does that mean? Could have, she, she could have learned that from anyone. A, anyone with a mildly Zenmin ac accent. Yes, it was his name. Oh, fuck. The halfling man <laughs> from before. Shut up, shut up, shut up, Kiri, shut up. Yes, yes, yes. How? Yes, I don't know. I don't know. Did you say yes, Kiri? Yes, that was his name. Oh. The halfling man yeah, from yeah. before. Oh. The gimp we were joking about under the floor of that place. 
Mm. Yeah. Oh. oh, what? <laughs> Don't look at I'm turning green. <laughs> 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 All right, you guys gather your things. Get back onto your cart and your horses mm-hmm. and head southward, exiting Barrelbin, leaving this swamp town behind, hopefully for good. Making your way back onto the road. Which direction are you going? Towards okay. Towards you have a map. North, Where's the map? Northeast. It's over there. I'll Northeast go get the map. Shady Creek Road. Well, everyone's figuring it out. Oh wait, we have to go around Hooper Duke. <gasps> Hooper Duke. Are oh, you guys heading to Hooper Duke or on the way? We can go through. Well, Hooper there's Duke. like a ridge line there, right? Duke. There's like a there's the mountains. <laughs> those, those those are high mountains. Yeah. Right. The Silver Quell Ridge. Like, the um, Silver Quell Ridge is a very very high series of mountains there. there, oh, there and so if we would have to go around it. So we'd pass by Hooper right, Duke. And pass by Hooper you would, Yeah. Hooper I mean, there Duke. there are, there are roads, or there are cutting through the open fields in nature. That's your choice to make. So looking at the map here. So we have some weights to put down. So on we have to thing. go around these mountains. We could either go so you guys are to the east, there, past Hopper Duke, right? Because we're going to Nog- Nogvaro, right? Up you, there? Get, you guys are heading this direction, yeah. as far as you know. Uh, Shady Creek, which is over here in the Quantum Creek. Shady Creek. Creek. But there's a uh, uh, there's a there seems to be the crossroads up there. There seems to be a path through the forest. So we the, could uh, go around Hopper Hup- yes. Duke way, or we could go Rexentrum. I think way. we go Rexentrum just because there's an army marching that direction. Oh, but Rexentrum is the 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 yeah, capital. It's the capital. Oh, that's it's very crazy. busy. Um, we should probably stay clear and go to Upper Duke. Don't you? You've been up there, haven't you, Caleb? Yeah, but there's a war brewing, and that place is the central. But you might all. know some that folks who could help us. Uh, I'm phone or very curious is about Upper Duke. Mm-hmm. Oh, that Trent guy? Yeah, that Trent guy. Right. Wait, is it where? Rexentrum? Yeah, don't you remember when he, we talked to him? He said if we wanted to, you know. Find meet him. up with him to talk more. He was in uh, Rexham. I Maybe. thought we were on a timetable to get these things done. Oh, the and we're, we're trying to be sly. We want to avoid we'll that. We'll go Hover Duke on the way up, and then we can do Rex and Trum on the way back. I'm just going to say, Oops, I've heard sorry. some pretty story, pretty crazy stories through the grapevine about uh, what goes on in Hover Duke. What goes on in Hover Duke? I don't believe you've ever heard a crazy story about anything happening anywhere. What's that, what goes on there? What have you heard? Yeah. Are you challenging me? I'm challenging you yes. for details. So, all right. City's like, got a lot of gnomes, right? And they're like filled with, with like industry and they work all the time, but at night, they party. Gnome parties. Work hard, party hard. That that's is what the, that city's all about. And they, so live, white. and they live in mushroom houses. I don't know about the mushroom houses thing, but I just I've just heard some crazy they have ragers yeah. like every I night. I'm excited no about mushroom are houses. Are you it's making kind. this up? No. I'm inside not at all. check. Make an inside check. <laughs> <laughs> Both of you. I'm into it. 18. 13. <laughs> That's because I can. As far as she's aware, she's telling the truth. 14. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm just saying, I, I've had some like shit. shady friends. Ain't no party like a Hupper Duke party. <laughs> I've had some shady friends. Like right, they, I. Hupper Duke it is. Let's duke it up. Yeah, I think they have like one of the highest imports and Hupper exports for uh, for like Hupper. illicit substances. Hupper. I don't know. That's just I what I've heard. I don't think I've ever been. Okay, let's go. Let's get started. All right, so you guys are making your way along the railway road eastward from Barrel Bend, right? Heading from here along the railway. Heading past uh, north of Felderwin, hitting the Felderwin Tillage. Uh, and then there's a crossroads that leads to the northern oh, gravelway path. That, we're going that far. We're if you're, fo- if you're following the roads, if you guys are cutting away from the roads and going through the rough, oh. open mm. fields, that's that can be done. No, we we're gonna have a carriage. Roads, right? Let's stay on the road. Yeah, okay. All right. So via road, yeah. it's about 110 miles uh, to the crossroads, and then 120 miles along the northern gravelway path. To you? Yeah. To it's about a week's worth of travel to get to Hupperduck from where you are. What's wow. what's in the crossroads? Uh, you'll find out when you get there. <laughs> you haven't traveled there before. Is it a village? We don't know. I've you don't know. Been, I've okay. been there, haven't I? You may have been there, actually, and you know that the crossroads, from what your experience is, uh, folks who are making long travels stop there and might set up shop for a day or two to sell or trade whatever wares they have before they continue on the rest of their journey, and people from Felderwin, actually, in the Felderwin tillage, head up there 
sometimes it's a set up shop. There are people that are traveling through. Flea market town. Kind of. It's a, it, it's it's not less a town. It's maybe a handful of anywhere from you know four to twenty or so tents, depending on what time of year it is. <gasps> it's an outlet oh. outside of town. <laughs> it's oh a God, fantasy oh, outlet. Have a zone. <laughs> have a fantasy zone. Yes. <laughs> I bet I can get three hundred gold worth of diamonds for like <gasps> way less. That? Yeah. Um, and Armani Exchange. Which, by the way, I want to talk to you guys. <laughs> I want to talk to you guys, because here's the thing. This spell that I have takes diamonds, right? In order to bring you back to life. And I don't have enough gold to buy, like, all these diamonds for everybody, so. So you're asking if we would like to uh, pool our resources for a handful of these diamonds for a, well, yeah. a perilous situation? Or if you want to be selfish about it, you can buy your own diamonds, and then I'll just use those for you. Yeah, how big do these diamonds have to be? Like little suckers? Or? Doesn't matter, it's just 300 gold worth of diamonds, but they're gonna be gone if you die. That's a significant diamond. How do you know which diamonds are diamonds? You keep your diamonds on you. But don't you need them for the spell? Do you? Do we have like a specific diamond pocket that you know if we go down, you go in our diamond pocket? <gasps> yeah. She's got to hold all the diamonds. No, no, no. And then you have your own diamond pocket, and then when I save you, it'll be like. You know, I'm, I'm perfectly Wait, fine sharing some, a pocket of sharing some diamonds. Why don't we diamond? just get like? I would rather you, as an accomplished healer, knew where the diamonds were on your person and got them lickety split, rather than you looking through my 32 Agreed. pockets to find. Sounds good to me. We'll just get as many diamonds yeah, we'll as we can. Yeah, imagine. I agree with you that we should pool our resources. That is a good. That's fair. Yeah. And Make whenever we steal jewelry off of people, maybe we just keep it instead of selling we just it. Pop out the diamonds. Yeah. We can still keep like ruby jewelry and mm. emerald jewelry. I will look for diamonds. Okay. Huh. That's all you use diamonds? Yeah. Just diamonds. Just diamonds. Okay. Do you have any spells that use rubies or emeralds? What about you, Caleb? Uh, well, I have this smaller, uh, this is a little diamond I use for that one thing that I do. But it doesn't go away. No, this one. This is. I spin it and surround it with a, a arcane uh, energy, and and no, it does yeah, not yeah, go yeah. away. What's that about? What's that about? How come he gets to keep his? Well, it's very. <laughs> Are you talking to the traveler right now? It's a very studied practice. I spent years learning how to do He's it. Extremely smart. What's the traveler maybe, doing up there? Maybe well, you maybe can learn. Fly, I don't know. Sometimes he's invisible. Could he be he's flying next to me? I don't know. Could you let her keep the diamonds? Could we maybe keep the diamonds? Could you teach her how to do the spinny thing? Could someone maybe keep their eyes on the road as we're moving forward? <laughs> Let's go! Thank you. <laughs> the traveler right. is my co-pilot. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's leading the way. Traveler take the wheel. Traveler take the wheel. Oh my god, guys. Um, but I do, while we're, while we're, Going. I need this next to Kiri, and I'm, I'm going to pull out my sketchbook, and I'm going to ask her to write down everything she can think of about her mom and dad, and draw a little picture of them, because I'm going to try to do sending for her mom and dad. Okay. She draws best she can. Um, her drawings are rudimentary but functional. You see two, two blackbird parents in somewhat geometric clothing. Um, That's about how I pictured yeah. them. Yeah. It's American Gothic, <laughs> but it's birds. <laughs> Basically. Um, Patches on the elbow. Best you can tell from what she writes down and communicates with you via the, the book, uh, they were traveling, I think she mentioned it before, they were traveling from the east, heading west. Mm. Oh, so they were going the opposite direction that we are. They are, yeah. That sucks. So you guys make your way out of Labenda Swamp. Heading southward across the bridge, past the river that uh, breaks from the Unterloch, heading south. Um, I'm sorry, just a, mi a minor thing. While we are traveling, uh, I'm going to use uh, my minor alchemy to turn a, a, a ring of the wood in the cart. I, I'm sitting crisscross applesauce, mm -hmm. and I make a ring of copper in the bottom of the wagon and place this stone in it. And I just place both hands on the side of the stone, and I'm just trying to channel. Um, my uh, knowledge and ability into it. I'm just futzing with it. That's it. Okay. <clears throat> All right. A little paintbrush, and I draw a smiley face on it's the not rock. Your hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Because this is a longer journey, I'm not going to drag now us through like... every <laughs> single stage of it. 
but there are some elements that can happen during this journey. So. You have died of dysentery. Yes, yeah. exactly. Have <laughs> <laughs> yes, we ever, ever find anything out about the sending thing? How did that go? Um, I want to know about first. I would say, unfortunately, given the lack of details, the lack of information, uh, at some point we want to pull out the map. Yeah. Well, Sometimes we want to pull out the map and message. show it to Kiri and see if if she could point to anything on the map. Let me see. All those things they're are, not dead, they're not are contributing dead. factors. We're going to get this fucking bird killed, y'all. I so, know, this bird's yeah. going to die. The sending spells aren't able to connect with anybody, so unfortunately. Did you try? I, I tried. All right, so first, first day of travel comes to a close. You reach the river. Um, Actually, you don't quite reach the river, you almost do. First night's rest happens. Uh, we'll say for the purposes of the evening, who wants to make, for expediency here, uh, who wants to make the perception check for the evening's rest? I'll do it. I will also do it. All right, who's, it's both individually or? Uh, I will do it individually. All right, yeah, so both of you guys roll. I like this is like Final Fantasy traveling. Yeah. It's like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is it world 16. map? 16? Oh, I got a five. <laughs> oh, that's better. All right, uh, so the evening's rest, taking your breaks, uh, keeping watch throughout the night. Uh, no incident. You guys uh, manage to, uh, you see at one moment there is a shifting of movement in the distance forward. You go and check and it looks like there's a, a family of foxes that are making their way through the field uh, southward away as it gets colder. They're starting to move southward and you just kind of spook them off to get away from the trap. Let's get. Uh, the next morning, you guys get yourselves back up into the cart and continue on further. Uh, you pass beyond the river and start making your way towards the crossroads before your second day comes to completion. Who's going to go ahead and keep watch the next evening? All right, go ahead and make a roll, guys. Do you want advantage or do you want? Let's That's roll like individually. Individually. Individual. Right. 20. Oh, 17. Hmm. All righty. Uh, keeping watch uh, throughout the evening. Thankfully, no issues happen. You manage to keep watch. Evening goes without issue, the rest is fine, and you continue on to your third day of travel. Along the way, you do finally reach the crossroads here. So, as you come apart, you can come upon the area, you can see where the road diverges. It continues kind of in a southward curve, and then a road that very starkly turns left and heads in a northeastern direction. There are a series of wooden signs up, and you do see what looks to be three tents of varying sizes up. There is a kind of a blue and white striped tent, there is a white tent, and there is a faded green one. And you see a couple of carts that are stopped off to the side, and some folks are kind of looking in there. Um, it's like a very, very small merchant uh, setup there, but if you were to inquire, you could see what's available. I wait a second. Um, uh, and I send Frumpkin skittering off in that direction. Okay. And and I, I as he's leaving, I just say, you know, rub against some ankles, and listen. Who are you talking to? Are you talking to me? Mm -hmm. Oh, I think he's talking to the cat. Oh, okay. okay. That'd be funny. That you would be rubbed on my ankles. You want me to rub his ankles? No, no. So, sometimes when he stares at you and doesn't say anything, he is talking to you, though. So sure. that's a fair question. No, I've noticed that. <laughs> I've never actually tried rubbing his ankles when mm -hmm. he says that. Can he still hear us, or can he only hear what's in the cat? He only can hear the cat, but he can feel you, so poke him if you feel him. Okay. okay. What if I poke his ankles? Mm, that would be weird. <laughs> Frumpkin listens about, and there are folks asking and trying to haggle prices. Uh, you get the sense that one of them, as Frumpkin looks up, has a small selection of fruits, um, some looking more tropical, probably further south sourced. Um, brighter oranges and yellow in color, some with vibrant green, Leaves. Pineapple. Oh, um, uh, Durian. <laughs> uh, the white tent goes by, has more of a general goods feel. There are tools, repair kits um, for travel. Uh, you see what looks to be some bolts, like two crossbows in the back wall, uh, all sorts of general tools. It looks to just be a, a general store in a way, and, and some basic means to defend oneself when on the road. Any books? <laughs> Make a perception check. Hey, Molly, Dad, Yasha. I have the magic books for you. Yeah, yeah no. any books. <laughs> 13. No books. No books. You the guys. green one appears to be mainly furs and leathers, some that are tanning on the outside, as well as what looks to be bone jewelry, made of like teeth <gasps> and bone of hunted animals. Oh, that's cool. 
You guys know tents. We also need some warm clothes. Mm. It's winter is coming. Tents would be a great idea. Ju- just to tents? justify all this, he's been muttering everything he sees, bones, bone necklaces. I want a bone necklace, but numbers. do you guys recognize any of these tent colors? I recognize the color green and white and... <laughs> well, I, well, I generally don't I mean, actually like the, care about the name white. of any city that I'm in, because I've never bothered to learn. Have I? Does this any of this look familiar That's before? Do I recognize any of these people? Mm, if you, start, you walk them and start glancing through? Yeah. No, they're None all this. various travelers. No one that's crossed your path before, nobody of significance to your previous experience, no. I want some bone jewelry, and I walk off that way. I think we're going to need some general goods. I got some ideas of some stuff we could use on the road. You mentioned the tent thing, that's not a bad idea. We should have some tents. No. All right, so you head to the green tent, those who are going to the one that has the bone jewelry. You see there is a human woman there, uh, dark weather skin, uh, leather and like fur over her shoulders. She's currently talking with somebody. Uh, and as you approach, uh, terribly sorry. Um, if you're looking for furs, bones, or leathers, look around. Feel free to ask. I will tell you what we are selling for. Do you have any bracelets? A goblin took my jade one. That's unfortunate, but we do. And she turns on you. You see that there's a few strips of leather that are kind of rough on the edges, but functional. One of them has like a fur inlay, so it actually feels comfortable on the wrists. I've made this myself. Or does this look like a little much? It feels you? like it doesn't go like with my outfit. Are they thick or like thin bones? Yeah, does it feel out of place? Uh, th- there's a leather. Oh, it's leather. Oh, it's just leather. <laughs> uh, the, 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 one, the wristband that she has is leather, yeah. If you got a thicker cloak, it would look real good with it. Hmm. Are you looking for bone in particular? Yeah. There, there is bone jewelry. You see that there, there's a, a bone kind of choker. That's a series of, looks like finger bones that are lined end to end uh, that goes around the neck. Uh, there's one that can go on the wrist. Uh, it looks like there's a necklace that has a bunch of various canine teeth. Uh, not necessarily from a canine, but like sharp yeah. teeth of some sort of creature. Aww. Where do these uh, bones come from? Oh, most of these were taken from various uh, wolves, dire in nature. Um, wolves? Wolves. 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 These are up from the Zemni Fields, near Ice Haven, is where I hail. There's a very uh, hunter-trapper community up there. I bring the goods to sell this far south. Very impressive. Frumpkin comes around a corner, and Caleb sees that the entire party has left him in the cart. <laughs> <laughs> Snaps out of it and scrabbles out and starts hustling yeah. over that way. Okay. Uh, do you buy stuff as well, or do you only sell stuff? Mainly meant only to sell, but if you have something worth buying, do present, please. I'm more curious. I'm actually not there. I don't know. Why. I've got a gator skin. <laughs> she takes it and kind of, which, by the way, the gator skin is not tanned. It's not cured. It's it just is rotting. fucking nasty. <laughs> as you as you pull it out of your out of your haversack, it's like dripping with like congealed blood. Flies immediately start gathering, and she's like, "Oh, super fresh." I can tell. Not interested. Sorry. I should probably tan these. <laughs> I leave the tent. <laughs> <laughs> I buy the bone bracelet, throw her money, and say thanks, and then walk off. Okay, you didn't ask how much it was, but, no. uh, but uh, the bone bracelet runs you two gold. It's not that expensive. Here. I'll disguise myself as a gnome, go in and buy warm clothes. Okay. That's it. Uh, okay, for the set of warm clothes, uh, which is uh, heavy leathers and fur that you can throw over, a leather, leather cloak as well that you can kind of bundle up and it kind of straps over and buckles multiple times across the way, kind of runs, for you, it run past your legs almost, mm-hmm. so you have to kind of trim it up a bit, um, but that one will run you about three gold pieces. Great, done. Mm-hmm. Want to hit the general store? Okay, in the general store. Uh, as you approach the white tent, you see a female halfling there who's wearing uh, a leather apron that has some tools tucked in there. Uh, there's nobody currently at the station, so as you approach, she kind of looks out to you. You can see she has kind of frizzy uh, brown hair with kind of like some gray ones that are starting to sprout from the outside that's pulled back and kind of held on this, this giant poof of a ponytail. She looks out towards you and points and goes, Oh, uh, hello, looking to buy something? Actually, I am. How, how fascinating that you caught me right in the moment where I'm ready to spend money. Oh, great. Uh, what are you looking for? Well, I've got a couple problems. 
problems, I have possibly some solutions. I've got a cart that keeps breaking down on me. That's a problem. So if you've got a kit for something like that. Also, I was trying to, th I was thinking about maybe putting some canvas on top of it, giving it a little bit of uh, 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 safety from the elements. I think I'm actually gonna also probably gonna need at least four tents. Uh, I've recently come into a bunch of new companions and they really didn't have what's necessary to make our way through these wonderful, wonderful roads. Tents, tents I can do. Two gold per tent. We have five ready, if you need four, for four, throwing those all together, if you're buying a tent. Four will do it. How big are they? Are they four-person sleepers? Uh, they're two-person tents Two persons. Hmm, okay. So you either get... F um, actually, I'll get, I'll get five tents. Five two-person tents? You're buying me out. That's 10 gold, my friend. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Pass them over. They're all rolled up and ready to go. Um, as far as uh, repair kits go, um, these are a little pricier. If you're looking specifically for cart repairs, uh, one kit I can sell to you for, we'll say, about 25 gold pieces. Oh yeah. But that contains all that you'd require for any sort of on the road, go in uh, wheel repairs, your axle, uh, any sort of your uh, uh, equipment for keeping your horses attached to your cart. You wouldn't happen to have any like raw canvas so I could use this, like possibly put a bit of a pop tent. Raw canvas there. I can do, but that beyond that, the rest of it's up to you. Uh, I'll take the repair kit and twenty-five gold for that. Yep, and however much uh, the basic supplies to put this together, and I'll figure out how handy I am on the road. All right, rolled canvas here. I've got about uh, say. 20 square feet of rolled canvas. Oh, then, will that, that do? Will that do? Will it do? Uh, <laughs> I'm used to yards, uh, yardage. Uh, three, four, five, six. Square foot is pretty big. If nothing goes yeah. wrong, it should work. Is it waxed and reasonable? And uh, reasonable, it's weather, it's weather resistant. All right, we just have to make a little. A little bubble? Yeah. Are we trying to do a covered wagon? I'm trying to yeah, do a covered, covered wagon. wagon. <laughs> For the uh, for the the treated uh, canvas, if you're taking the whole bowl, that's going to be five gold. It might be just so enough. So we're at thirty gold now. Thirty gold. Uh, like a half covered wagon. Well, thirty uh, go <laughs> thirty gold in with the tents that puts we'll it at forty. Gold. Forty gold. Um, well, okay, all right. So we got the we got the tents. We've got the canvas, um, and then just a little bit of lumber to put this whole thing together, and that'll do it. Mm, the fine little bit of lumber for, um, the, for the structure. Yeah, just for the just for. The, yeah, covered wagon worth. Yeah, I don't have much in the way of lumber. I have a few. Um, do you have bamboo? Yeah, oh, well. <laughs> whatever you have. Yeah, no. There's no bamboo. Yeah, uh, and there is there are wood slats, uh, but no super long pieces sure. that could be curved or domed over. That's all right. Um, at the very least, we can fake something for now. So we could find wood. Could I'm not there. Something mm. on the road. That's fair. I'll take. So what's my my total right now? 40 gold. We do 35. Mm, make a persuasion check. All right. Where is it? There we are. Uh, that's a, uh, no, that's a nine. That's nice. Yes. <laughs> the, day, the days grow colder, friend. Unfortunately, I've got to make ends meet. Can't argue, 40 gold. 40 gold. Fantastic, I, thank you. I tossed Percy 10 gold to reimburse Oh, you did it again. Bit. Two, I got That's two, one more, and I got a free and oh I got a free God, sandwich. Oh my God, I did. You did it again. Is that, is that, 40, <laughs> is that 40 total? 40 total, yeah. All right, so that was. Uh, was it Percy again la the time Stop before, saying too? it, stop saying the name. 15, 18, no, keep saying it, maybe he's you'll not start here rolling anymore. better. He's in another continent <laughs> with kids. He has his head shoved up the ass of a clock right now. <laughs> Leave him be. <laughs> <laughs> that was a savage burn. Oh. All right. Anything else you guys need? Yeah. To what is uh, what is spreading out the leather hides and the making them dry out? Mm -hmm. okay. What is Ford doing right now? What is Ford doing right now? He's fucking bored out of his fucking shopping mind. I see that. He's, on he's, nice. he's holding an invisible phone, just scrolling social media. <laughs> Are you getting Checking ready? Checking Tinderbox? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Tinderbox! Give me a sweet half work around here. <laughs> you look bored out of your mind. Yeah, I'm not much of a shopper. <laughs> same, <laughs> same, me either, me either. Uh, so far, so good though, right? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of been without uh, incident, which is what we want. I just mean, a lot of it, we've been together for weeks now. Oh, yeah. There's been some friction. 
but uh, we're still here. Yeah. Nothing we can't, you know, overcome. Everything's got its little bumps and growing pains, and I think we've had ours. You and Bo seem to make up nice. Oh, hell, there was nothing to when you uh, held a blade to my throat. Uh, but we're making it work. Indeed we are. You're a good guy, I think. Yeah, I think so too. Does he look like when I say that? What, what do you look like when he smiles at you? <laughs> no, I know what your face looks like. <laughs> what does it mean? Double rainbow, what does it mean? <laughs> Pleasant smile. Okay. Caleb, Caleb, they have rambutan, they have lychee, they have jackfruit, they have all sorts of different fruits. What did you just say? They have all kinds. What's a lychee? It's a, it's like a white little, it's got a big seed, it's white, it's sort of citrusy, it's really I, good. It's, it's, it's sweet. I you put it in liquor. I, I am from the north. We have prot, tomatoes, and, and, and cheese, they and that's have it. They tomatillo, I don't know. What? <laughs> it's really exotic well, stuff. You, you teach me. Good talk. Yeah. Here, show me what you're talking come, about. Come, come. Do I recognize anyone in any of these tents? Uh, no. Cool. No, you do not. Cool. That's right. a dirty picture. No, it's not, it's a ballerina. No, that's a dirty picture. Anything else you guys wish to do? Or do you move on, or? Okay. With your supplies gathered, you load up back into your cart, and then now shifting over towards where you see the signs. The directions show NW, Railway Road to Barrel Bend slash Lavenda Swamp. Don't want to go there. NE, Gravelway Path to Hupperduke slash Silverquell Ridge. That's where we're going. And then S, Railway Road to Felderwin slash Allfield. Right. We want the Hupperduke one. NE, Hupperduke. Hupperduke, Gravel right. Road. Making the left turn onto that road, heading northeast, you begin to make your way towards the Silver Fell Ridge. I guess we're going to Florida. Coconut. Did I have asked if Kiri was cold? Do you get cold, Kiri? Yeah, there you go. Kiri's like sitting there on the edge, kind of eyes half closed, and her feathers are all puffed up, and she kind of looks over towards you. Do you get cold? Yes or no? Yes. You get cold. Oh, I run back in and try to get some warm clothes for Kiri. Okay, easy enough. It it costs you maybe three silver to get the proper, just over, you know, thick fur material to give her just enough to keep warm. Something really pretty, though. Uh, beggars can't be choosers in this circumstance, yeah. but you get something functional. Okay. It's burlap. It's all burlap. <laughs> <laughs> Really itchy wool. Yeah. Oh, no. Here she is. Continuing northward, uh, as the sky gets subtly darker and dark, preparing for what is the coming dusk, you see uh, ahead what looks to be a caravan of carts heading southward along the road that's going to intersect with your path. What? what what's ahead? Well, it's like a caravan of, caravan. of uh, looks to be four carts heading your direction, heading southward, going to cross your path. Can we see? Yeah, make a perception check. Ah. Jesus. <laughs> that was impressive. Ooh. That's like big. There's the other one. She already had it in her Fifteen. Head. Okay. Glancing ahead, you know, it's, there's still enough light for you to make out details. Um, they appear to be mostly human, from what you can tell. Looking behind, looks to be a, uh, a group of dwarf uh, family members all gathered, and they appear to be families. Um, Do they look like fancy wagons? They don't. They don't look. They look like wagons. Um, and as they begin to approach, they kind of turn and kind of give them a wide berth. Like they're about to make room to travel past you guys. Could be a diamond shipment. I remember what I should ask. Howdy. Oh. What news from the road up ahead? Uh, the gentleman at the front kind of like puts a hand up and the cart's kind of slow down a little bit. Nothing, just passing through. No dangers? Clear roads? Roads are clear so far. What do the faces of the people who aren't talking look like? Uh, make a perception check. Yeah, you look very. He's hiding something. Uh, 17. 17. Uh, there are men, women, children. 
Uh, mostly human. Uh, for the three of the carts, one of them is a dwarf family. Um, they all look somewhat nervous. Just like general, like looking out and like shh, quiet to the kids. Have you been to Hopper Duke? Uh, we just rode past, didn't stop. Did you see the mushroom houses? No. Damn it. Did you party any? Quick razor? After the kids no, were asleep? No, I'm sorry, we must be going. There was no blazing drum and bass? <laughs> the horses kind of pick up I their pace a bit you. more. <laughs> what do the kids do as they move on? Uh, the kids just kind of watch quietly as they begin to pass. I didn't like his demeanor. No, where are you going? Are you safe? <laughs> you are the worst. He looks people. back and says, yeah. We're heading what south. Reading? What are you reading? <laughs> <laughs> We're just passing through, heading south. Uh, I look at one of the kids. Are you safe? Are you good? Are you safe? <laughs> the kid kind of recoils from this. Blue skinned, horned <laughs> tiefling all of a sudden engaging him from across the way. Kid just kind of freezes in place. I don't know. I feel, like they, I feel like they would have said that they were in danger or something. Mm. They're trafficking kids. Yeah. I'm afraid that's like, so I don't know. I just feel like somebody's not safe there. Yeah. All right, yeah. I'll cast a message on one of the kids. Okay. okay. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it. If you're being kidnapped, you can't respond to this message and tell me. There's a pause, and you see when the kid you're aiming at goes, like big smile on the face. <laughs> Looks over and sees you and kind of responds. No, we're just getting away from our home. That was like a real connection. No, it was. <laughs> Where's go that's what's happening at their home? Okay, I'll catch them Where's again. Home? Where's, home? <laughs> Where's home? You can respond to this message. <laughs> Not for us. Oh, oh, that's, that's, where, no. that's where the people have been getting stolen from. Yeah, people are getting stolen, remember? But wait, we're, yeah, Nogvarat is right where we're going. We're going yes, past Shady. There's been a string of Shady kidnappings Creek. there. Yeah. Well, there's, this is where you're going, and then Nogvarat is this way. Oh, so, okay. so, so we can well, do that. Or you can, or it'll take more time, there's but next, you can do that. But they're you know next doorsies. We should avoid yeah, Nogvarat right now, kind of. Yeah. You hit on the way back. It's up to you. Yeah. All the way back. All the way back. After we've already taken care of the stuff, so we get paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Do we know how much time we have left before our time is up with the gentleman's time? Uh, with well, the days of travel, I have to go and do the math again, and I'm sure the internet knows and has been keeping track. We're probably fine. I'll we'll check in with crit roll stats to make sure. We'll tell the group. Um, <laughs> but since you've left, uh, just estimating right now, I'd say it's been about a. A little over a, a week as of now. And we have a month. You have a month. Yeah. Okay. We're okay. killing it. Okay. We're good. This is going to be the hardest stuff now. Let's, Let's continue on. on. Basically, guys. Caleb is uh, futzing again with the rock and uh, uh, just sort of massaging the four days of stubble that he has grown back in his facial hair. Comes in as fast as Liam's does, so it's already <laughs> pretty thick. Pretty thick. All right. Uh, you pass the caravan and they continue southward. Mm. Eventually, it gets dark. If you guys want to stop and make make a rest for the evening, you can. So, as you set off and set up camp, who's keeping watch this evening? We've got tents. I'll keep watch. All right, and you do have new tents, which is much more comfortable than the open air bundle up with your blanket in the cold night. And as you travel further north, you know it's going to get colder, especially with the winter looming and the autumn right. One of coming to a close. Bought warm clothes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's keeping watch? Yash and Bo. All right, go ahead and make a roll, guys. Or one of you can manage your choice. Bo's just looking at you. For bad. Did <laughs> uh, you see anything? 15? 15? 15? Okay. Because I don't see anything. Well, <laughs> Except for your eyes. They're like the ocean. The, your eyes are like the sea. <laughs> your eyes are like the swamp. Your eyes are Super like muddy. blue crayons. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> one is like the swamp, one's like the sky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, one's part. like more purpley, but I guess that's oh, really? sky or swamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's very like uh, very diverse biodomes in your eyes. Oh. Well, yeah. 
now. Not biome. Mm. Biodome. <laughs> biodome. 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 Like a, I think that's but a the, film. You know, like, yeah. <laughs> Water world. Probably sure. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. All right. The evening passes without issue, actually. Keeping a watch. You call that without issue? Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> my blood. You're so Touché. Cool. My blood. You're Touché. so cool. How do you fucking eat gravel so hard? It's in my blood, man. Oh, man. It's all a ruse. So, you wake up the next morning. Uh, you get, you get the sense cool. that. that being the vigilant beast that you are, if anybody wanted to come close to inspect, immediately saw Yash and went, nope. Um, <clears throat> you continue on the next day of travel, um, heading upward, northeast, further and further. You can begin to see the edge of the Silver Quell Ridge, the mountain range that when you were approaching the Labenda Swamp began to rise and kind of loomed over the swamp and then began to slowly get more distant as you traveled southward, the crossroads begins to come further into view again. The mountain range moving closer, more massive, kind of peeking over this large, it's, it's a very, very steep edges to the, the base of this mountain range. Um, you get the sense that passage over or through is very specific, or at least nowhere an invisible sight. As you guys begin to crest into dusk, for this next fourth evening of travel. Um, who's keeping watch? Me and Caleb. All right, you guys go ahead and roll perception checks, please. Six. Yeah, 13. 13, all right. Um, as you guys are uh, just setting up, Caleb, you're looking out past as everyone else is getting ready to bed for the night, and you look over and you can see what looks like a shape off in the grass. Looks like a, like a just like a, it looks like it'd be a mound, but it, it's hard to tell from the distance, but there's some, something in the grass. Damn, there's something deadly out there that wants to murder us all in their sleep. Well, it could just be an animal or something. Yeah, right? it could be. Do you want to wake everybody up? Not or do yet, you let's to... find out what it is. Well, I can't see I'll go Shit. look. You stay here and be ready to wake. Okay, well, hold on a second. Just wear my cat as a scarf, and she dig, uh, damn it, my cat was a girl, but never mind. He digs his claws into uh, Knot's uh, neck and clings in. Okay. I'll flank around and try to see if I can see what this thing is. And, and, and Caleb sits between Ford and Bo and loses his sight and vision and listens. All right. So, make a stealth check, please. One. <laughs> uh, plus 10, but it was a natural Still one. a natural oh. one. Warm it up. Fuck a Warm duck! It up. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, this is really get out of my eye line. Oh, get out of my eye cold. line. We'll, we, we'll we. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. It's a 30 foot radius. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Do you have sunglasses or anything I can wear? <laughs> uh, as you uh, begin to slowly approach, make a perception check, please. That's a 12. Do I get to make a perception check through Frumpkin's ears? Sure. Yes! Queen. Uh, it's a two. All right. <laughs> you hear nothing. Uh, you, you glance around the corner and just, ju just beyond uh, the grass, you can see what looks to be an overturned cart. Not ours. Not yours. Another cart. It's just on its side. It looks like it has a, uh, a cover over the top of it, um, but it but just. But that's not where that we saw movement. No, we just saw. Hump, you saw right? the, the the shape, and the shape as you uh -huh. approach is looks to be an overturned wagon, roughly about a hundred feet off the road. Man. Okay. I will cast silent image, and I will uh, make it look like there's a. Just a curious human walking over there. Hi, I'm an American man. <laughs> <laughs> I, pull out, I pull out a wire and say, you're, 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 you're onto this, right? This is a possible ambush, yeah? It seems like, yeah, like yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> So, so, Chent goes over there and checks it out. Chent? <laughs> Maybe old, never met a Chent. You know, good old Chent. I already hate him. <laughs> Nothing walks he doesn't walks get over there. That. Hmm. <laughs> Make a perception check. Okay. You got a sweater around his neck and mid-thigh khaki shorts. Thirteen. Oh, yeah. Crocs. Is he wearing Crocs? Yeah. Nothing. Oh, 
Abercrombie and Fitch tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your man to check the cart. Yeah, he's, he's over there investigating. Nothing. Okay. I will withdraw him if okay. nothing has happened. I, I didn't... I take out my wire. I didn't see anything move. I think it might just be a cart. It's going to be honeypot. Probably, but give it a moment. Okay, we'll wait. Tell him to do the running man. He, he's a—he's not a good dancer. He's a white guy. <laughs> yeah, I can relate, but just do it. <laughs> white yeah. man's overbite. White man's overbite. There it is. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Can't handle. No. Make a perception check. Okay. Fifteen now. Fifteen. You see a brief, a, a split second of movement. And you look and you see a crossbow bolt hit the edge of the cart. What, that, near where, Chent, near where Chent, he was standing. Chent, yeah. Chent was? Who was still dancing. <laughs> oh shit. No direct, do I, can I tell from its impact where, from Not from this came? distance, no. Okay. <laughs> crossbow attack, crossbow attack, wake up everyone! I I'll take them out single handed. No, no, switch to the cabbage patch. <laughs> and I start punching Ford and Bo in the shoulders. Um, Shh, quiet, 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 quiet! Be quiet! I'm gonna just. Up there. Keep flanking around in the shadows, trying to stay out of trouble. I start quietly. Crossbow at the ready. Handing over everybody's mouth. Wake up, wake up, there's an ambush. Wake up, wake up, there's an ambush. I'm scared of Yasha, but I do it anyway. Wake up, wake up, there's an ambush. Mm. Are right, you all coming to consciousness? Yeah. <laughs> 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 as, as, as all of you come to consciousness, you glance over and you can see the dark shape once Caleb points out the direction where it was. And as you're coming around the side, uh, yeah. not. Because you did not roll did a not very see. good no, stealth. No, no, no. Um, and you went forward and did not retreat? I'm just trying to flank around. Uh, you suffer six points of piercing damage as a crossbow bolt catches you in the thigh. Oh, I will like, reduce that to three. All right, you glance over to the side and you can see what looks to be a humanoid shape that darts down into the grass and begins shifting around the other side of the cart. Caleb would, at this point, once everyone is awake, Yash was the last one to go back in to see what is going on. Oh, shit. Uh, 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 Not being attacked. We, uh, it's, uh, we, uh, 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 let's go. Uh, and I jump out of the cart. Did I see where the creature went? Yeah, it ran or ran through down through the grass. Uh, actually, you make a perception check just as you're trying to peer out through the darkness here. Six. Yeah, you have no idea. They vanished into the grass and moved you, what you assume to be out around the cart. I am doing my best Vax impression and making my way through the grass. All right, the rest of you following? Yes. All right, you sure. guys are all. Start walking towards. Not carefully, just straight on run in that space. Oh. All right, you guys spread are going. Flank. Uh, spread and flink. Still stealthing. Um, you're still spread stealthing? And flink. I'm trying. All right. I need to, yeah, I'll try I would to walk like all of you guys to make a stealth check, right, please. Yeah, yeah. As you try and carefully approach. I don't know what's going on, but uh, at the slow pace in which you are approaching, at that many feet away. Uh, Natural 20. Nice. Natural 1. 16. Natural 1. 14. 14. 14. Four. Four. Okay, Ford to Molly, lumbering across the field. Um, and the, in the meantime, two of the figures jump up from aside the cart and both take crossbow shots at you. Uh, that's going to be a uh, 16. Armor class is 16. Just hits. And the other one is, that's a 12. That does not hit. Okay. So this one, you're going to take uh, four points of piercing damage. I already used my whatever reaction, so I'll take the full four. Okay. Um, they both kind of duck down behind, uh, using it to kind of put a buffer between you so and now them. Now I kind of know where they are. You know where they are, yes. But they're hiding. Correct. Oh hiding in the grass. Caleb, light them up. You guys are uh, rushing in that direction. You can see you see two figures dart up and then not kind of, uh, not as very visible <laughs> in the field. Uh, uh, can I use my action to message them saying there's there's two or three figures behind the, the cart and then then I'll hide? And Caleb sure. heard Ford say that and just went <laughs> and there's four globes floating above okay. us. I'm going to invoke duplicity. Yeah. Okay, you invoke duplicity. Mm -hmm. As, as, as jesters stealthing below through the field, two jesters suddenly appear where instead was one. Out next to Molly. All right. Molly and Ford, you guys rush forward as the little globe of lights all of a sudden light the area up a bit, like it has a like a, a very faint lantern light in the vicinity. I'm gonna move on the opposite side of where Knot is and do like a quick run around and try and flank. Okay, Ford. Yep, just swinging wide, on both side. Yes. All right. 
As you guys rush around, Yasha, what are you doing? Um, yeah, I'm swinging wide. Going okay, you out. guys swing right around. At this point, you see the figures, uh, what looks to be now five of them, all pop up. Two of them in the field off to the side that you weren't paying attention dart up, and the three from behind go ahead and the three are going to take shots at Knot as well in the center. Uh, that's that's 21. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's an 18. Mm-hmm. And uh, 17. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's six points of piercing damage, six points of piercing damage, and seven points of piercing damage. <laughs> Not just being pummeled by bolts. And uh, as Ford and Molly start rushing up, a, th- a fifth one off to the side goes ahead and makes a shot towards Molly. Uh, that's going to be a uh, 19 to hit. Oh, yeah, that hits. All right, you take seven points of piercing damage. And the other one goes and aims towards Molly and goes, Wait, oh, oh God! Stop, 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 stop! Stop your fighting! And I see the other sharp, dark figures like look their eyes, their heads swing over in that direction. What are you guys doing? Mm, taking out the closest guy that's to me. Okay, the one that's closest to you is the one that shot Molly, who just popped out of the grass as you were pulling around the side. The one who's yelling? No, the other one. The, the one that's shouting is on the opposite end. So Can I really spread out? How spread out? Uh, the, 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 I'd say if you're looking at, at the where, where the cart is, mm-hmm. there's two on the sides here that were in the grass, and there's three that are directly behind the cart. Roughly how far apart are the apart, they, two? They're about oh. 60 feet apart. 60 feet. Okay, I'm going to hold slow. Uh, uh, for one side of the group uh, until if that if I decide they're a threat, if they sound like a threat. Okay. Well, you have to release the next round of the spells lost, so. Hmm? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay. So you prepare, you prepare, and you're, you're readying yep. slow for whenever they, all right. Can we see a visual of in the face of whoever was yelling that? There's very little light, except for a little bit of light coming through the sky. So cast, didn't you cast? Oh, light? They're, they're, uh, the globes, uh, like a lantern uh, light, but like it's it's it's, it's, it's in the middle of the night, so you can see the shapes. They're not able to hide at the moment, but you don't see yeah. any features or details at this moment as you're rushing up. Make a perception check. Do they see that Chent is now doing the sprinkler? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they are aware. Okay. Fourteen. Fourteen. Um, you do notice that. All of them have these like thick green cloth masks that cover the front of their faces, um, kind of like bandit style that cover most of the features. Um, I'm cracking the one. Yep, in the go head. for it. As you rush up, go for it. I'm, I hope he th- does. He see me? Uh, I'm, he, I'm trying to do this stealthily. He just finished firing and. Okay, while his attention is like diverted, I'm gonna come up behind and just try and do like a crack and try and make, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Okay, go for it. Do I have advantage on this or anything? The first attack you do, because he turns and sees you at the last minute as you approach. Oh my god. Uh, 16. Shit roll. 16 hits. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's 12 damage. Okay. And I'm going to do Stunning Blow. All right. Or stunning Strike. Stunning Strike. Is that a key thing? That's yep, a key thing. That's a key to do it. Yeah, he does not succeed. <laughs> he rolled a natural eight. Okay. He goes, the kidney punch right to the side of the I'm going to just cover his mouth and lay him down in the grass <laughs> and do another blow to his temple to try and knock him out. All right. Cool. And kill him. Nope, just knock him unconscious. Okay. Do I roll for this? Do I, am I, is he? Go ahead, go ahead and roll. Okay. With advantage, because he's stunned currently. Natural 20. 20. He's All right. Looking cool. Yeah. Skill. Yeah. You whack, and his eyes just roll back. Just, <laughs> sh- 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 lay him down lay in him the grass. Quickly um, declare yourselves. As you guys are. Whoa, 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 whoa. The one guy stand, stands up to the guy who, who's yelled out goes, We are so sorry. We are so sorry. We didn't. Didn't know it was you folks. Our most sincere apologies. <laughs> and the other guy's like, what the fuck are you talking about? He's like, don't, don't understand. These are the ones that. How's the management ones, working out? These are the ones that ashed Trevor. <laughs> they put their, the guys put their hands, oh shit. Oh. We're so sorry, they dropped their crossbows. Oh. Caleb, let's slow fizzle. Oh, we, we didn't mean yeah. nothing. Right. We're so sorry. I'm gonna fire one crossbow bolt at that guy. Go for it. <laughs> Oh, it's only a 13. He's leather armor, it hits. <laughs> <laughs> They're not very strong. Uh, eight point yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on! I think this doesn't feel good, does it? Oh, geez. Now, now, is that apology accepted at this point? Do you guys have healing potions? Because you just sent a lot of arrows at naught. I mean, at this, I mean. 
What you, have you, you got? Say, you say her name. Okay. We don't have much. No, we're so sorry. Seriously, this is a huge, no, no, no. It's a huge misunderstanding. I'm just going to put this out here that we just received an apology. This sort of behavior should be rewarded. You know the drill. Thank you. Thank you. Take off your pants and walk away. <laughs> Make a persuasion check. <laughs> and also leave one gift for us before you go. Because you're living. Oh, <laughs> no. I rolled no. a one. No oh. pants for oh. no. Oh, you fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate the courtesy. Oh, um, <clears throat> he pulls the mask down. Take, take the cot. Take it. Take it. That's yours. Um, we'll just, uh, the other was like, what the fuck are you doing, mate? like, no, no, trust no. me, trust me. Yeah, we have a cart, we're good. Is there anything in the cart that is more interesting? Whatever's in it, it's all yours. Uh, back away from that cart, please. Right, oh, right, we do, guys. Gentlemen, back away. It's, 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 it's rough out here. They should take their cross. What happened to the owners of the cart? I am not taking their clothes, but I'm interested to see what they are carrying. That is very fair, let's take a look. Is that your cart, or did it belong to someone before? It belonged you? to someone. They were alive. We didn't kill them, but we took the stuff and we sent them on the way. Are you bullshitting us? No. Are you bullshitting me now? No. <laughs> Looking in this cart. Okay, make an investigation check. Yeah. I'm gonna, as I'm laying in the grass with the guy who I knocked unconscious, I'm gonna pad down his body. Make an investigation check. That's okay. uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Looking inside. Um, Natural 20 again? <laughs> Does the 20s in a Will row? Will Wheaton? <laughs> Counter Will Wheaton! <laughs> All right, so. Um, so first off, glancing inside and looking through and just rummaging and pulling, you can see most of the cart stuff is gone. Um, it looks like it has some simple grain bags and things that were placed deliberately to look like it had a lot and they just shoved all of it towards the exits of the two sides of the cover. Um, but the interior of it's mostly empty. You see like two blankets. Um, that's about it. How's this working out for you? Obviously not very well right now. Yeah, are you better or worse than when you started? <sighs> Look, it's as embarrassing enough as it is. It's hard enough to make ends meet. We're doing what we need to to survive. We're happy to give you this. We'll walk away, we'll pretend this never happened. I feel bad. I've got to admit, I no, no, I have to deal with this. I'm gonna to walk to my cart. Okay. I'm gonna pull out that armor that I got at the uh the the the, the, the that leather orcs armor place? at yeah. the orcs place. Yeah. I'm I'm handing it to the kid. Well, I, I don't I don't understand. You're gonna get shot at again. It's just it's breaking my heart. Yeah, you really can't find like a safer line of work. You guys are just like yeah. Head to the cities. Work on a dock. I mean, learn from your mistakes. What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing with your lives? <laughs> <laughs> he grabs the armor and kind of like tucks it in. Thank you. Thank thank you for recognizing and and for for being gracious about our previous deal. I appreciate someone who stands up and holds to their word. That's really nice, and yeah, that should be rewarded in this world. Three strikes and you're out. So this is two. Right, no, um, we, uh, yeah. They wouldn't be bandits anymore, but they are bandits. Well, you know, I wasn't so really holding them to that one. Them. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, the next time, we are going to turn you into grease puddles, <laughs> so maybe find yourselves a job in a store or a dock or a restaurant, even. Yeah, don't go working for criminals. Make big that's goods. That's stupid. Well, at least We're be good at it if you're going to do that. I think they're freelance gestures. They work oh, for themselves. So. Then if you're going to do bad things, at least work for somebody who's rich and doing bad things. <laughs> Don't just steal from people on the road. That's stupid. The, 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 two of the guys go like, yeah, no, she's got a point. So, <laughs> I, walk well, no. up, I walk up to this guy and I take the stone out of my pocket and I place it against his forehead. <laughs> And I mutter a few words under my breath. <laughs> and now I know where you are at all times, and I will know if you are still doing this kind of work, and I will come and I will kill you. Make a deception check with advantage. If it is a deception check. Yes. Natural 20. <laughs> just over here, just over here is our safe haven <laughs> from, from that. Just. He's like nodding. You can see the sweat in his brow, and you you can't help but notice the darkening spot in his <laughs> nether regions. Like, 
Of course, sir. No worries, sir. I promise. No worries again. We'll go and we'll, we'll, we'll slot pigs. Um, we'll, we'll do what it takes. Oh, anything but this. Right, boys? <laughs> like, what the fuck, you pissed yourself? So, <laughs> Respect management. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> they pick up their crossbows and tuck them under their arms. Good night. Safe travels. You can Always leave. steal from grumpy people. That's the so rule. true. Good night. And they all immediately start, but the guy next to you is like, Ugh. and as, you, as you're patting him down, um, two things. One, you manage to get about seven silver from him. Ooh. <laughs> That's all the money he has on him at the moment. Hey, okay, big spender. Okay. Um, but you find like a hard spot on the side of his stomach. Yeah. Oh. They should probably get checked out. Oh God! <laughs> Is it bored? Why? Because he doesn't have anything else but your old twenty investigation <laughs> check. I didn't know what else. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! You're gonna steal boy? his money, and he's got like medical problems. No, he's a he's a warlock. <laughs> as uh, oh, as they all leave, right there. Bo just peeks her head out of the grass and goes. I knocked one unconscious, and I don't know what to do with him now. I could have let him go, but I didn't want to say anything in front of everybody because I started feeling bad once you guys felt bad. Do well, to heal him now? No, 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 he's no. Just he'll be You're asleep. probably he's doing fine. him a favor, all right? He'll wake up in the morning, no one will be here, he'll start his life, it'll be a new chapter. No, they're fine. leaving. We got one more of your, this one. Oh, At this point, there's a, no, a sound oh. behind you. <laughs> you see Kiri running with her knife back going, I kill people! <laughs> oh, don't kill this corpse! Don't, don't stab this corpse! It's not a, technically a corpse yet. I know, but she'll think it is. Mm. I kind of pick him up. Maybe they can take Kiri. No way! Well, I don't know. No. We need to get rid of Kiri. <laughs> <laughs> That's so terrible. You never an know. adventure and imminent yeah. death. Yeah. I, take, uh, I take this guy's green mask. Okay. And his pants. Yeah. <laughs> and I give his pants to Jester. Yeah. There you go. Write that like, down in your equipment. I got pants. Bandit pants. <laughs> I was gonna add it because I think I already have some bandit pants. There you go. We can make a little bandit flag out of the bandit. Pants. He starts coming to consciousness. Uh, oh no! <laughs> oh fuck! Sorry, it was a reflex. Uh, Just lay him in the grass. Uh. His friends have all like ran, run off northward, yep. like Your back away. Your friend is their bad friend. He friends. gets a fresh start in the morning. It'll be fine. He'll only find better people. Okay, I I try to lay him down gently. <laughs> and, uh, it's like drooling down himself. Oh. So I he, turn him on his side. Any, does he have any coin on him at all? I already did seven silver. Here, these guys suck. Put, I put two gold in his pockets. Okay. And yeah. judging by the map, how far are we from any tower? Uh, you guys at are point. at this point about here. Oh, this guy's gonna die. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I feel yeah, bad. You're about, for this you're about one. 24 miles out of the, um, away from the crossroads. And how far away are his friends? Uh, they're, they're, they're not, I mean, you don't see them at the moment. He knows where their hideout is, he's fine. Oh, I'm going to pull the message, uh, my wire out and message the one who I intimidated and say, you left one behind, he's What's here. the range on that? Uh, it's like 120 feet, I think. They're I'm going to check yeah. it out. They're outside of your It's 5,000 oh, feet. Fine. Fine. Okay. He's a bandit. Sorry, I just talked into a wire, you don't know, it's fine. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, that went well. Hey, hey, Jester. Mm. What if we like take them and we pose them and we like put like a like a like a drawing around them just in case anybody else finds them and maybe they think there's something wrong with this guy. Okay. Well, like a sign. The good I don't news know. is we are in the middle of the wilderness and no one is going to find him. I was trying to be jovial. I'm sorry. <laughs> I take. I shouldn't have tried that. What I if we put some flowers in his hair and stuff so when he wakes up he looks really pretty? That's good. Let's do that. There's nothing better than waking up in the morning with no pants and flowers in your hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also going to take. I have a dagger and I'm going to shove That's it into his belt so he's nice. not yeah. totally alone. He's, he's pantsless he's with, a, pantsless. with a dagger, correct? Uh, pantsless with a crossbow, and, a crossbow. What, and what looks to be a simple short sword that's kind of tucked off to his side. Oh, I didn't see that. So ah, I take my dagger back. He's yeah. fine. He's got a blade. Yeah. He's got All right. really pretty well, flowers. His hair is filled with flowers. He's just uh, on his side, flopping away from the sky. Um, flopping away. 
What do you, you, the cart's there if there's anything I you grab from it. Drop of lavender oil, and I think we're done. Was there, <laughs> actually, there you go. Was there anything in the cart? No. There's, there's blankets. No, we can take no. the blankets. There's a couple blankets. Yes. There's a grain, and it has a cover on it. It is. Hey, well, and this is why wagon. you buy the lavender oil. Well, we'll they the have cover. a covered wagon. Like the, the, wagon. yeah. The, well, the wagon has a. a so cover. we can just remove it and attach it to ours. Yeah. Or we can just take theirs and Does leave ours. Nice is theirs better? Is there, theirs better than ours, or? Yeah, uh, the like cart is comparable, probably a little more weather than the one you guys have. Yeah, we'll just, we can just pull and just pull and we'll be fine. Well, all right. Well, uh, this is so dumb. What color is it? Uh, it's a it's a it's basic canvas. canvas. It's canvas. it's it's like a, okay. a tan. It is Oregon Trail. Got it. Right. Oregon Trail. No, we're it's all yeah. about the dysentery. It's like it's like it's it's like a, it's like a tan light brown. Okay. Um, okay. It's a Florida convertible. Yeah. <laughs> Volvo of wagons. Yeah. <laughs> Essentially. So it's ironic yeah. that, that you went looking to build that when yeah, that was already in, in, in the possible that workshop. That well. I was um, put a little sign that says baby on fire. All right, so you guys pull that it's off. A wagon. Um, take the blankets. Take the blankets, make your way back to your cart, finish up your evening's rest, and in morning light, continue your way northward along the road. All righty. So. It's a tiny ass hooves. For the sake of brevity, since we're getting towards the end of the we evening. We should take the green for our horses. We left. <laughs> horses eat grass. Let's count the grains. Oh my god, let's travel north for fuck's sake. The next, <laughs> the next two days yeah. go on without issue. Yeah. Passing a few uh, travelers heading southward, crossing your way, um, until eventually the Silver Quell Ridge grows more and more prominent in your line of sight. Following the path, the fields that surround the North Road begin to give way to tall grass and trade for scrubland and rocks. Uh, the once vanishing shape of the Silver Quell Ridge Mountains growing bigger and bigger, the numerous columns of mingling black and white smoke you can now see spill from the eastern side of the mountain, diffusing as they rise. As you travel even closer, you can make out the two-tiered layout of a city built into the mountain. One large region encircles the very base of the mountain, a hundred or more dark workshops and towers billowing smoke from chimneys and stacks visible. Uh, a number of large constructions dot the open spaces between these towers, like some oversized cannons or others like mobile siege towers. <coughs> One resembles a wheeled, multi-tiered cart with numerous wicked-looking bolt throwers being attached. As you begin to head in this direction, you can also see that this lower area, this almost industrial field of various engines of warfare that are in the process of being constructed, some even just like in their skeletal phase of being built. Um, to the base of the mountain above that, you can see two winding switchback roads, as well as one very steep staircase that ascends to a second level, about 100 or more feet above the first, the base level. Here you see is a massive outcropping of leveled rock that holds the other half of the city. There along the ridge of the mountain shelf lies hundreds of buildings and arches occasionally dappled with an autumn-colored tree. Behind this city mass, you see a shimmering waterfall that cascades from out of the center of the mountain about a thousand feet up that glimmers like silver-white light <coughs> in the little bit of sun that's coming through the clouds. You've reached the outskirts of Pepper Duke. This is not how I pictured it. I like it. I told you, city of industry. I like a good waterfall. Where are the, where the, where are the EDM gnomes? Well, it happens at nightfall. Oh. <laughs> is it mostly gnomes that live in the city? I think mostly gnomes, but I, I'm pretty sure there are other people. I don't know, I've never been here, I've only heard stories. Does it look like the buildings are teeny? Um, from best you can tell from this perspective, uh, make a perception <coughs> check. Thirteen. Thirteen. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Uh, the buildings that are on the outside of the upper ridge look to be varying sizes. They don't appear to be like super tiny or by any means. Um, you do see from this perspective as you're heading kind of down to the base of the mountain, you're kind of from the, at the top of the hill, 
uh, on this last leg as you start pushing in towards Upper Duke uh, specifically. At the base of where the waterfall is hitting, behind that row, you can see what look to be numerous towers, thin and tall, like these weird needles of buildings that kind of cluster around the base of the waterfall. That's as much as you can make out of this distance. And on a scale of one to ten, one being like a shit ass swamp town and ten being Rex Centrum, like what does the civilization level of this city look like? I mean, the technology, as you get closer and closer and begin seeing these, these fields of construction, mm. um, the industry is pretty prominent. It's the most you've ever seen. Um, as far as the beauty of a living, civilized town, mm. five or six, maybe? Okay, but not podunk, it's... It's, it's not podunk it's by any means. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's well built, it seems comfortable. Um, the base area around the mountain as you begin to approach, and you can see now where the, uh, the clouds and, and bits of steam actually are kind of mingling and rising up, uh, mixing into the sky above you. Um, the colors here are fairly drab. Browns, grays, m dark graphite metals, um, and immediately you can see the ground itself. It's good water. <laughs> <laughs> You can see the ground itself as you step in areas has kind of just a faint layer of soot, um, where some of the burned materials that are pressed up into the air in this vicinity have come down to settle onto the ground surrounding it. Um, what do you wish to do? What time of day is it? Uh, it's mid-afternoon. Hmm. So, yeah, I guess we'll ride into, uh, into the city. Let's have okay. sleep somewhere comfortable. Following the path, there is a large metallic archway that rises into what is almost like a, a, a pointed uh, entrance, where as you enter, you can see in the metal, carved in with various rivets, Hopper Duke on the other side. Uh, there you see two towns guards standing there, both human, uh, standing guard, and as you approach, one of them kind of steps forward. Welcome. What is your business? I'm looking for lodging for the evening. We've been on the road for some time. Understood. Uh, you would probably want to go ahead and head up the mountain for that. Down here is all industry. All industry. Uh, where would we? Uh, where would we be looking for further up the mountain? Kind of points out. Well, this is the uh, this is the iron lot in the assembly yard. You're going to want to head up to the idlework shelf to find lodging. Idlework shelf. Idle work shelf, yes. Uh, any recommendations? Favorite spots? Um, I mean, the most prominent and most lively would probably be the uh, Blushing Tank of Tavern. <laughs> I do like illiteracy. The Blushing Tank of Tavern. Ooh. Illiteracy? Uh, all illiteracy. Illiteracy. All illiteracy. <laughs> Like, I don't yeah. <laughs> find people a fan of illiteracy, but. Yeah. I like unlearned folks. <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate it. We'll uh, we'll head on up. He steps back to his post and just kind of keeps an eye as you guys enter in the midsection. And so at this point, you begin to hear uh, the actual industry here. There's this faint buzzing and clicking sound as you see some of these large wheels that are affixed to the outside of these large towers are grinding. You can see platforms kind of rising up with the gears turning. And on them you can see uh, numerous gnomes, male and female, in the process of what looks to be building materials lifted onto higher levels. You can see some of these war machines that are being developed and designed here are mid-construction. You get the sense that with the call of war, they're probably put into high gear and developing whatever siege uh, weapons they can possibly muster within a short time frame, and, and the furnaces say, are going well. And when you say war machines, how do you mean? <coughs> From what you can see, um, mentioned kind of brief in the distance, you can see they have some larger wheeled platforms that have bolt throwers, which are large, uh, like head, like imagine a crossbow, but on a massive scale, with a giant metallic spear that gets flung from it at a really, really powerful speed. Uh, you see three or four affixed to a single platform. Uh, you're not sure what animal would be able to pull that. Um, you also see siege towers, 30 feet tall, wheeled, with a number of ladders and platforms inside that are used to uh, clamor against fortresses. 
Um, you see one looks almost like a giant battering ram uh, that is in the process of being constructed. The the interior, like metal rod, is currently they're just resting on the ground next to it, and they're building an outer frame. Looking past on the far end, on the northern end, uh, you can see what looks like a huge cannon, uh, maybe about 15 feet across, end to end, uh, and about three to four feet wide in the middle. Uh, that one is on a platform. The wheels are currently resting on the side, and they're in the process of finishing the construction of the device. Uh, make a perception check. <clears throat> yes. Uh, 14. 14, okay. Just beyond that, on the northern side, as you guys are riding past and you kind of get as much height as you can, beyond these towers and what was referred to earlier as the, um, uh, what was it, the assembly yard, which is the area where all these war machines are being built, you can see a, a roped section that is just pockmarked craters and scarred ground, what you assume, assume to be some sort of a Testing, testing ground for whatever they've been working on over the numerous decades or more they've been here. Robots. You're not sure of the. Actually, roll a history check. Just because I'm curious to see if, if, how much you know me. about this. Yes! He did it. Eve. He did it. Fuck me pretty hard. That's yep. three. Uh, I will. Can I <laughs> use my mystical erudition <laughs> to get an advantage on history checks? Uh, I'll allow it this time, but usually you have to decide that before you make the roll. I'm it's not a lucky feat, so. To deciding it now. But going forward. Not that not much, much better. better. <laughs> At all. Wow. Uh, nine. <laughs> okay, you don't, you haven't learned that much about the history of Hubbardook. You know it's been here for a while. A while. This thing? This scarred this, pot mark line? The land? city. The city, okay. It's been here for quite some time, so while you're not sure of, of, of how long that field has been there, you get the sense that this isn't a recent testing ground. It's probably been just their general testing ground for any technology they're developing. Okay, okay. So it's not new, okay. Uh, glancing about, you see more Crowns Guard uh, attire, though now you're starting to get to more gnomish uh, Crowns Guard who are established there, and on their backs, as opposed to spears or shields, the ready you see, uh, similar weapons to what some of the army moving eastward were carrying. You see long metal rods affixed with a, uh, a wooden kind of buttress at the end. Uh, these strange firearms that have been very carefully relegated to certain individuals here are a little more in use here. Are there any platform shoes, glow sticks, or pacifiers? Make perception check. Okay. 13. Not yet. <laughs> Are there any um, flowers that seem uh, that are even visible in this area? Make persuasion check. Yeah, right. Pink hearts, yellow moons. Check? Purple horses. <laughs> Blue diamonds. Mm -hmm. Red balloons. Eighteen. <laughs> Eighteen. As you guys are, are clomping along, you look down, and most of the land here is fairly barren. Uh, the outskirts of this, whether it be just the heavy amount of, of smoke and soot that's put out by the industry, there isn't a lot of grass, and though that is here is pretty harsh scrubland material. You glance down, though, and one of these small bushes does have a very unique-looking white bud. They haven't opened yet, but they're beautiful amongst this kind of stark ground, and you could reach down if you wanted to and, reach down and I take kind of it grab and put it in my book. Pluck a couple and put it in your book. Okay. Probably be something Siding closer to the waterfall, maybe. Yeah. Are the guards Forget still within earshot? Uh, the ones you talked to earlier? No, you moved yeah, on from them, okay. but there are other crowns guard in the area. Um, you can hear the heavy sounds of metal clanging uh, and the occasional sparks in the distance of some sort of welding process being done on some of the distant towers. You can see on the opposite side, the southern side, dozens and dozens of, of dark metallic warehouses and buildings that uh, are junctured by hallways. You can see they're almost like small compounds that are focused on whatever their specific businesses are in these de designated delegated areas. Um, it's weirdly almost drab and dystopian in a visual perspective. Uh, when you come to the base of the mountain here, where you see that, that, that large, that very steep staircase you were looking at, um, there are the, the switchback pathways up there, but as you approach, you hear this 
and looking up, you can see these chains, these big, heavy, dark chains are shifting. And as it does, you can see this platform begin to lower from the city above, heading in your direction. Above you, or in front of you, at the base of the mountain, you can see there are a few other individuals that are sitting there waiting patiently. And you can see this platform eventually comes down and seems to be one of many means to make your way to the second Will part of the city. Will the cart fit on it? It's a lift. Hold the elevator! That seems safe to you. Do we have to pay for it? It'll be fun. All right, as Probably you approach, as you approach, you see there are four crowns guard, one dwarven, uh, three gnomish that are there waiting. It. You see the few figures that were waiting patiently. Uh, they appear to be well-dressed uh, human, one half-elf, uh, wearing, looks to be like reds and gold velvets, um, look to be relatively well-off, uh, standing definitely out of place in this rather dark space. Um, they step onto the lift, and as you approach, the guards put their hands out. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, who are you? We are guests here. Just looking for lodgings for the night. Lodgings, well, uh, you'll have to take the path upward. This is designated for uh, uh, guests of Hopper Duke. That's what we are, we're guests of Hopper Duke. Guests of whom? Hopper Duke. <laughs> guests of um, Ophelia Mardoon. Yes, that the one. Make a deception check. Sixteen. Yeah, he was like, "I'm sorry, I, I, I don't recognize the name. That's You'll have to our take the path." She's very important. I would hate <laughs> to keep us uh, out of her good graces. I feel like the the pull she has in the city should be more than enough to allow us to. Uh, I, I guarantee you, sir, I've never heard the name before in my life. Um, but there is always the path. Well, you'll know of her name after today. I guarantee you that. I hope you enjoy this post for the rest of uh, your your evening. Of course. Uh, he goes ahead and takes a small pistol out from the side and aims it in the air, and it ah. fires. There's a puff of smoke, and the chains oh, begin man, to lift back up. Come on, I really want to be on carrying. it. Come on, come on, man. Let's get on, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't need that ride. What the hell was that thing he shot in the sky? Noise maker. Uh, as you, as you guys are kind of frustratingly uh, Fuming over that not quite as, as positive experience, a voice from around behind you goes, Um, well, no. <coughs> you look like you're not from around here, is that true? And you turn and glance behind you, and you can see what looks to be uh, through a, a surly grin uh, and kind of a, a, a curly mop of brownish red hair a uh, female gnome in her young adult years, wearing simple clothes, some leather gloves. She has dangling around her neck what looks to be a, a set of eye protectors. She's kind of uh, rubbing a little bit of soot from her chin. <coughs> so, you couldn't take the lift. Well, we could have if um, he would have just, this guy, he, he would have just listened to us because we are really important people. Mm. Are you? No, we're not. <coughs> See, that's gonna get you far here. Honesty. Self-deprecation? Oh, honesty. Well, probably right. both, depending on the time of day. Right, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, who are you? I might ask. We're, we're the Mighty Nine. Travelers passing through somewhere else. So you're not from around here. No. I like that. What brings you to Hopper Duke? We thought the name was funny. <laughs> that is accurate. <laughs> her brow furrows and a smile curls even wider across her face. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Well, uh, I happen to be a local looking for a way to kick off some boredom. So, uh, mind me showing you around? Hello, what, uh, what's your name? My name? Risa. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Um, Ford. Ford. Mayhaps we be getting in some trouble, too. I hear you, uh, people like to get in trouble here at Hopper Duke. Especially at night. Uh-huh. Well, we got about two hours. 
Oh, that's like four o'clock. Wow, amazing, right? Well, at this time, it'll probably be about <laughs> dusk. That's like <laughs> like eight o'clock. Crazy. <laughs> We've got so. to find a place to store our stuff and hopefully find a find a, an inn for the night first. But there's a few inns to pick from. We can take you around here. <coughs> I'll lead you up the walkway. Follow me. She's nice. Mm. Why? That's killer. Do we have this like <laughs> tourism look to us? For yeah. sure Definitely. we do. Very much yeah. so. <laughs> we might as well be wearing fanny packs, all of us. Whoa. Kind of back in now, though. Not cool, man. We should get some fanny packs. Yeah. We're not. <gasps> like an amazing fanny haversack? Yeah. Oh, well, my God. You don't know what's in there? Just keep pulling stuff out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just got slap bracelets and all right. Keys. You guys. Begin to make your way up the switchback path up the mountainside towards the uh, the upper edge of the shelf. Um, on that way, your new friend Risa jumps up into the cart with you. This is so. I get the sense you don't know much about us here. Um, How much? Oh, no charge. Or buy me a round. We're what five, do you want? and we'll call it Eve. She wants booze. I'm gonna keep an eye on her because I think she's gonna try to steal some of our stuff. Okay. That's all I ask. Maybe help me fuck with a friend or two. What? Just say yes. She's just like us. <laughs> okay. We're visitors here. Yeah. She just has to fuck with say a friend. Say yes. Well, yes? You make really bad first impressions, too. She's basically you. That's true. <laughs> During all of she this. She kind of looks to Bo and is like, I'm yeah. not back. Mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Don't worry. <laughs> Another place is a bit droll, but uh, once the sun's down, it gets interesting. During all of that yammering uh, on the way up, I look over at Yasha <laughs> and just sigh out. Yeah. A little crazy? That's it. <laughs> are you saying you are crazy? I mean, you did that in front of everybody. I just. <gasps> are we having an agreement? I am crazy. Oh. I can see that about you. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So things are a bit busy around here. They've uh, they're busy most of the time. Uh, general uh, work day here is about ten to twelve hours. No weekends, no breaks like the rest of you um, lazy and lackadaisical folk. Private contractors. Fair enough. Um, but give me a quick tour of the place. Should give us right about time to uh, get some drinks. Um, drinks is a great idea. As you make your way up the mountain, making small chatter, eventually you come uh, to the outskirts of the Idlework shelf. And so here, encompassing the outer ring of this elevated shelf of the Silver Coral Ridge, is a lively district of taverns, inns, merchants, open pavilions that are currently empty. But you see, it, it looks like the place is pretty much perpetually decorated for some sort of a, an event or a festival, but it's in disuse at the moment. It is just empty, and everyone you see in the street, there's nobody taking a walk. Everyone is rushing from one place to another, or shouting commands. Um, there's a general air of busyness and intent in each person you see. And as you guys kind of leisurely stroll through, um, every now and then you get the side eye of, and they just continue on past. Um, majority of the people here are gnomish, They're from probably 80% of the people you see in the immediate vicinity at any given point in time are of gnomish heritage, um, only offset maybe by the occasional dwarf and some human half-elf. That's about as much as you've seen in your path here so far. Um, we, as a much taller, united colors of Benetton pack, draw a lot of attention <laughs> as we walk through. I mean, you do as you do. You are a very, a very colorful ensemble uh, whenever you enter any we sort of a new establishment. Have since hitting the, hitting the, the city? Uh, not yet, no. All right. But to be fair, most most of the streets are empty unless sure. there's people going from business to business. Um, it's 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 an interesting feel. It's almost like like the town's kind of a ghost town, or it's kind of dead outside of those that are in the process of making errands or or doing runs. 
Um, is it sooty up here too, or is it? A little bit, but not as bad as below. Okay. Um, at this point, uh, your friend, your friend Rissa is pointing out in different directions. I was like, all right, and then that's, that's over that way. Um, this is the center of, of Hupperty culture here on the uh, the shelf, uh, where most of the most of the folks come to unwind. Uh, beyond that, you can see the uh, what's called the uh, uh, the Silver Falls pointing over there. Uh, that's kind of the core of where most of the residents live, sleep, make their families amongst the, the small towers you can see. And from this point, you can now see what those strange finger-like protrusions that were guarded around the um, the waterfall are very condensed, thin, and tall metallic towers that have balconies and little windows. Oh my god, it's they a have condo. It's a condo complex, mm. yeah. But they're like cool. three stories, maybe four stories at most, and a lot of them look like they're off kilter and like the Mexican constructions looks not safe, though they probably are. Um, it's a very unique living situation. You haven't encountered with any other people in the Empire and beyond. Um, and glancing up, you can see there are a few folks that are out there in the process of like laying some uh, rugs out and hanging them over the side. Uh, one woman up there is like throwing some seed to some birds that kind of float by and start eating off the, the, the edge there. Risa, you mentioned uh, culture. Are there any libraries here in Habaduk? Uh, I'm sure there is. Not anything I've bothered with, though. Not much of a reader. No. My father, well, he might know, but we don't want to talk to him. Um, Where do the best parties happen? Just wait, be patient, be patient. Do you live on the high floor or a low floor? I, I choose to live on a low floor. Less stairs. Mm. Yeah, it gets warmer up top anyway. Pfft, don't want that. No. Walk-ups are tough. Mm, you're telling me. I want my quads to be ready, in case I need to go to a sprint. Mm. Run for my life, you know. <laughs> Do you build the machines down there? I, I used to, occasionally. You know? Uh, you know, I, I supervise. Supervise what? You're being a bit nosy here, not gonna lie. No, no, we just met and helping show you around, but. Uh, I mean, you offered, though. I offered to tell you about the city, not about myself. Okay. Ah, well, we are a traveling group of uh, hired guns who can get shit done. Uh, so we are a varied done. group of people. Some of us learn and some of us good at smashing skulls. Um, we would do uh, any kind of work if we're presented to us. That's who we are. We're a motley group of assholes. I think you'll fit in quite well around here. Did you get fired? Oh my god. What? I just want to know. I was just trying to diff diffuse. To yeah, I felt like you gave her information, so maybe she'll give us some. Did she get fired? I um, haven't found a vocation that fits my personality. Oh. Tried some things, wasn't my thing. Undecided major. I like I can it. Get that. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Where should we stay tonight? Well, there's a few different places. Are you looking for a quiet spot to sleep, or are you looking for a wild place to not sleep? It's pretty clear we're looking Bo for a wild place. Bo is looking place. for a wild place to not sleep. Blushing tankard it is. Gushing tankard. Blushing tankard. That's a different. That's a very different. <laughs> At, the, at, this, at this point, Gushing. the oranges and reds Gushing. of sundown have taken the sky, and you hear this pop sound. For it. You look up and you can see these splashes of light in the sky above you. These faint fireworks start going off. What? Are the Dodgers playing? You start hearing shouts, voices echoing from the city, from the towers, from behind you along the shelf. Yeah, yeah. And all these steam whistles start going off. Down below, echoing from below. What's that? What is that? What's that? And the streets on? suddenly come to life. <gasps> as people summer. begin to rush out of buildings, taking off their aprons, taking off their gloves, going ahead and, and setting off whatever their work attire is and rushing off to home to unwind. There is a rush of energy, and you begin to realize Bo isn't kidding. This is a party town. They, this work, is awesome. they work hard, and at night, they play hard. You brought us to Florida. 
Oh. And that's where we're gonna finish tonight's episode, oh. though. Steampunk Burning Man! <laughs> Fourth Street on in Austin. <laughs> oh, Fourth Street. Oh, oh, I love Fourth Street. Um, all right, so we'll pick up this uh, next week. Um, we may or may not have Ashley, depending on if Skype is available. Wait, what? Yeah. yeah. What do you but the mean? following week I'll be here. Yeah. Um, but nevertheless, thank you guys uh, so much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Will Wheaton, for not ruining our lives. Yeah, Will, Will's been offset trying to curse my dice. <laughs> Apparently, I deflected into the party. I'm happy about that. I don't know. Pretty Thank good you guys right for joining now. us tonight. Ready player one was good. Everything else bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, we'll see you guys next week. Have a wonderful weekend and the following week. From there, we love you. And is it Thursday yet? Good night. Woo!